Chapter 2781 The Wolf God Awakens Illusory Figures Walked Out of the Spatial Gates, the aura of Divine Deus flowing around them. Right now, everyone's soul involuntarily quivered. They actually had an urge to kowtow. Are those really gods? Shocked cries rang out as they felt an instinctual fear. Gods stood above the mortal world. They were existences that controlled the fates of mortal experts. As soon as they appeared, the world trembled as if it couldn't contain their existence. Not good. The channel has been mostly opened. Although the gods are unable to descend with their true bodies, spiritual clones can pass. Maruayan's expression changed. He hadn't expected this battle to draw even god incarnations over. Although Maruayan was a follower of the wealth god, he didn't have the ability to have the wealth god's power descend. The other side clearly viewed this battle as something that they had to win at all costs. Hence, they didn't give the martial heaven continent any chance. Once Yi Ming and the others had the god incarnations possessing them, they would be on a completely different level. They could then be considered demigods. Furthermore, there were still the endless armies of invaders. Although the reinforcements from the immemorial path, the spirit world, and the starfield divine world were powerful, they were only able to maintain an absolute defense against them. A counterattack wasn't possible. In other words, they could only watch as those god incarnations descended. The high priest then looked toward Long Chen and saw that a vague sovereign crown had condensed on his head. Perhaps it was precisely because of this that the nine-headed lion and the others were so panicked that they had done this. If Long Chen did become a sovereign, it would be a disaster for them. At this moment, the void trembled and Yi Ming's eyes changed. He seemed to have become a different person as divine energy gushed out of him. Also, a vague figure could be seen behind him. Yi Ming was the first to complete the god incarnation, and he immediately shot toward Long Chen. Stop him! shouted Mo Nian. The four supreme divine items attacked together. Boom. As a result, Wild, Mo Nian, Yi's Hikyu, and Zi Yan hacked up blood, flying back. Even their combined power was unable to stop the demigod Yi Ming. A group of ants thinks they can stop me. Yi Ming's voice was strange and coarse. It was layered on top of the other, as if two people were speaking at the same time. Yi Ming then charged forward. But suddenly, the ground split open and giant wooden stakes flew out, cutting the world in two. The life god tree and the mother tree had summoned a wooden wall. The descendants of the immortal spirit race also dare to court death. The current Ji Ming was possessed by a god's incarnation. It could even partially be said that a god was controlling him. That god clearly recognized the origins of the life god tree and the mother tree and knew that they weren't fighting races. Ji Ming's spear blazed with light. The powerful divine energy instantly ignited all of its runes. With a single thrust, that giant wooden wall exploded, appearing incredibly weak in front of Yi Ming. In his demigod state, he had entered a different kind of realm, above all of them. However, this kind of possession would definitely cause immense harm to the body being possessed. A mortal body was not capable of containing a god. If it weren't for this pressing situation, the nine-headed lion and the others definitely wouldn't have used this move. If Long Chen did become a sovereign, none of them would be able to suppress him. If Long Chen managed to close the spatial channels, they would all be killed. However, at the same time, their blood and souls were suppressed and being damaged. As time passed, their souls would eventually reach the point where they simply died. This god possession was extremely dangerous but the power they gained in exchange was extremely terrifying. Yi Ming was unrivaled in this state. The high priest, Maru Ayan, Ling Yunzi, and the other experts joined forces with Mo Nian and the others to fight Yi Ming, but they were still being pushed back. If it weren't for the protection of the mother tree and the life god tree, they would be in danger of being killed. But even with their full power, Yi Ming was slowly getting closer to the core. In the distance, Three more explosions rang out, and the nine-headed lion, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, and the blood fiend devil lord's bodies quivered. The figures of their gods appeared behind them, causing the world to shake. The three of them had completed the god possession. Thus, everyone's heart sank. Even a single Yi Ming already required everyone's power to slow down. If three more attacked at the same time, there would be no way to block them. Furthermore, at this moment, 
the giant egg on the yin yang world's altar began to break. Large pieces of its shell fell. Ha ha ha. The wolf god is waking up. The blood fiend devil lord was delighted. Unlike Yi Miang, he hadn't taken a shortcut to become a sovereign, so his foundation was solid. Hence, even though he had the god incarnation possessing him, he was mainly the one in control. The shell broke apart, revealing a giant snow wolf. Its white fur slowly stood on end. At this moment, a terrifying aura rose. It was like an ancient beast had awoken to slaughter all life. Its aura was terrifying and ominous, making people's souls quiver. It slowly stood but seemed a bit weak. Its body shuddering. It began to sniff around. It then licked up a piece of its shell and bit down. As a result, a metallic ringing rang out. The shell that was tougher than a divine item was actually crushed and consumed by it. Its aura grew even more terrifying when it devoured the shell. Its fur grew brighter, making it appear even more divine. In just a few breaths time, it had consumed its entire shell. As it ate the shell, its body went through an immense transformation. It stood, showing taut lines on its body that was filled with wild energy. However, from the start, it hadn't opened its eyes. It seemed as if it couldn't open them. Using my blood, I give light to the heavenly wolf god. The blood fiend devil lord formed hand seals and spat out a mouthful of blood. It then transformed into two runes that embedded onto the wolf god's eyelids. Mighty wolf god, open your eyes. Kill as much as you please on this hunting ground. The giant snow wolf slowly opened its eyes. At that moment, Meng Chi let out a startled cry. That gaze, it was incredibly familiar. The blood fiend devil lord stood in front of the snow wolf and pointed at the battlefield ahead, shouting, Mighty wolf god, all the life forms ahead of you can be slaughtered as you please. Unleash your boom. Suddenly, the blood fiend devil lord's voice was cut off. The snow wolf's claw fell, slamming into his body. As a result, the earth shuddered and giant cracks spread in every direction, instantly covering half of the central plains. The land was almost shattered but its power wasn't the most shocking thing. It was the fact that it would attack the blood fiend devil lord after awakening. For a moment, both friends and foes were simply stunned. Even Yi Miang, who was possessed by a god, stared in disbelief at the snow wolf. When the snow wolf pulled back its claw, the blood fiend devil lord had vanished. He was dead in both body and soul, not even his corpse remaining. He died chapter 2782 blood moon wild wolf before becoming a god he first became a ghost the blood fiend devil lord was killed by a single claw from the snow wolf considering how excited he had been with his back facing toward the snow wolf he had probably been anticipating the sight of the snow wolf slaughtering everyone on the battlefield but before it even got started everything was ended by that claw suddenly a translucent figure floated out of the ground. That was the god's incarnation. And it was completely enraged. The snow wolf had killed the blood fiend devil lord. Leaving nowhere for the incarnation to go. Not just anyone was capable of accepting a god's incarnation. They had to have faith energy as a vector. Without a host. The incarnation was unable to unleash any of its power. You damn animal the incarnation's roar was cut off when it was devoured into a large mouth. There was no struggle at all. The incarnation was simply swallowed by the snow wolf and vanished, stunning everyone. The snow wolf then let out a howl. The earth crumbled, and the stars quivered as if they would fall. After that, the void behind its back shuddered, and an image of a full moon appeared as fragments of spastime blew apart. This full moon was a blood moon, and its light filled the world. The image of a snow wolf standing in the sky was deeply imprinted in people's souls. It's little snow. When the snow wolf howled, the dragon blood warriors cried out excitedly. That howl contained a supreme law that caused the image of little snow to appear in the dragon blood warriors' minds. It told them that it had returned. It had gone through nirvanic rebirth and completely transformed. Seeing this, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others wept emotionally. Back then, little snow had died to the curse of one of the corrupt path's experts. Back then, Everyone's heart had broken, including Long Chen's. But now, Little Snow had made a powerful return. Suddenly, the space beneath Little Snow's feet exploded, and it transformed into a white bolt of lightning shooting toward the Aldeville Heavenwalker and the Nine-Headed Lion. 
Neither of them understood what was happening Novaloon.com however, the two of them roared and divine energy exploded out of them. The three of them clashed fiercely, shaking the world. As a result, both the Aldevil Heavenwalker and the Nine-Headed Lion were sent flying. They left giant cracks in the earth and were flung all the way to the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. The terrain of the continent was changing completely. The power of gods had surpassed people's comprehension. Seeing that Little Snow was so powerful, the Dragonblood Warriors cheered. Suddenly, Little Snow raised its head and roared. In the sky, the star shuddered, and the Blood Moon caused the world to twist. After that, endless wind energy gathered toward Little Snow. When a ball of light appeared in Little Snow's mouth, an ear-piercing sound rang out. What terrifying wind energy! Tang Wan'er couldn't help crying out in shock. As a wind cultivator, and having refined a wind attribute divine bone, her control over wind energy had reached a kind of limit. However, the wind energy that Little Snow was using did not belong to this world. There was a giant gulf between their powers. Compared to Little Snow's wind energy, the Martial Heaven Continent's wind energy was like a rice straw that encountered a sharp blade. At this moment, endless wind blades had gathered inside Little Snow's mouth. They were moving so fast that it looked as if they were static. As the sphere of wind blades quivered, space was torn apart and the laws crumbled. A vacuum appeared around Little Snow. Boom. Suddenly, Little Snow spat the sphere of wind blades out. It then suddenly grew larger and flew toward the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. The Martial Heaven Continent's wind energy was being sucked into the sphere. Just as the Aldevil Heaven Walker and the Nine-Headed Lion flew out of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. This sphere of wind blades struck them. Boom. The sphere exploded, causing the water to burst and crash against both shores. Countless mountains were devoured by crazy waves and blasted apart. This attack affected a large portion of the Martial Heaven continent and left the Aldevil Heaven Walker and the Nine-Headed Lion covered in blood. The range of this attack was so huge that there was no way to block it. Forcibly receiving it resulted in them being seriously wounded. Even the god incarnations weakened. Boom. Little Snow's giant figure charged after the two of them, and its sharp claws tore through the void. It was completely unstoppable. The Aldevil Heavenwalker and the Nine-Headed Lion tried to counterattack, but Little Snow's body was so terrifyingly strong that their divine items couldn't even harm its fur. Furthermore, the divine energy surging around it was even stronger than what was coming from the Aldevil Heavenwalker and the Nine-Headed Lion. The two of them were then forced further and further back all the way to the northern source. Yi Ming, come help, shouted the nine-headed lion. He had no idea what this snow wolf was, but even with both of them joining forces, they were unable to retaliate. If this continued, they might be killed. However, Yi Ming simply snorted and ignored them, going straight for Long Chen. His only target was Long Chen, so everyone else's life or death mattered little to him. Bastard, the nine-headed lion cursed furiously. Yi Ming had ruined their plan at the start, and now the god possessing him was just as selfish. Split up, the nine-headed lion suddenly shouted, and the two of them flew in different directions. This way, Little Snow would only be able to chase one of them. Little Snow ultimately chose to target the nine-headed lion, causing him to turn green. He cursed inside. If they were both four-legged, why did Little Snow have to make things hard on him? The Aldevil Heavenwalker's speed was clearly slower than his, so Little Snow should have chosen him. Boom. Little Snow's claw fell and the nine-headed lion coughed up blood, unable to beat Little Snow. After that, Little Snow bit down on his neck, causing him to scream. Two of his heads were swallowed by Little Snow, turning him into the seven-headed lion. Little Snow, come here quickly. Just as Little Snow was about to chase after and kill him, Menki's spiritual call came from the center of the continent. Little Snow was most familiar with Long Chen and Menqi. Hence, when it heard Menki's cry, it immediately looked back. It noticed that the Aldevil Heavenwalker had charged back toward Long Chen. With a furious roar, it abandoned the nine headed lion and charged back toward the battlefield. Chapter 2783 Hu Fung against Aldevil Heavenwalker Boom. Little Snow's claw fell toward the Aldevil Heavenwalker, and the earth split apart all the way to the end of the continent. Despite using his full power to defend, the Aldevil Heavenwalker still hacked up blood and was sent flying. However, 
the direction he flew in was where Long Chen was. At the same time, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were impacted by that divine power, and some of the weaker people were killed. Not good. Little Snow has just awoken and cannot perfectly control its own power yet. Meng Chi turned pale. That claw of Little Snow's had torn open a hole in the Martial Heaven Continent's defenses. Ha ha ha. Even as the Aldevil Heaven Walker hacked up blood, he laughed. Borrowing the opening created by Little Snow's claw, he charged toward the barrier and unleashed a single palm. Boom. The barrier rumbled. Inside of it, blood leaked out of Yan Shian's mouth and dripped onto his white robes. Boss Yan Tian Mo Nian roared furiously. He charged toward the Aldevil Heaven Walker. Little and, you can scram. The Aldevil Heaven Walker sneered and unleashed another palm. Devil Chi erupted, forming a ray of light that blocked Mo Nian. Little Snow, don't, shouted Meng Chi. Little Snow was about to unleash another claw, but in its newly born state, it didn't know how to control its own power. After this attack, the Aldevil Heaven Walker wouldn't necessarily be killed, but the barrier might be instantly destroyed. Hence, Little Snow's claw paused, hanging in midair. Come you little brood, provoked the Aldevil Heaven Walker. Having noticed the problem with Little Snow's power as well, he then unleashed a second palm on the barrier. Boom. Countless ripples appeared within the barrier, and more blood spurted out of Yan Shian's mouth. His bright eyes dimmed. Cracks were now appearing throughout his body just like the barrier. Aldevil Heaven Walker, if you have gods, come at your daddy Mo, roared Mo Nian, his voice hoarse. But he was completely blocked by the Aldevil Heaven Walker's divine Tao power. Little Snow, go block the nine-headed lion, he's coming back, shouted Meng Chi. The nine-headed lion was charging over. If he also got in, it would only make things worse. Little Snow roared and charged toward the nine-headed lion. The latter was sent flying before he could enter the core, and one of his legs was ripped off. The Aldevil Heaven Walker ignored the nine-headed lion's predicament. He was smiling sinisterly at Yun Tian. Yun Tian, I'll send you to your father. Do you have any last words? The Martial Heaven Continent birthed me. I can do nothing to repay the favor, but if I could use my blood and soul to protect this world, I would die a hundred deaths with no regrets, said Yun Tian his, voice resounding through the air. Sovereign Yun Tian the commoners protected within the core cried out. Although Yun Tian wasn't a formal sovereign, in their hearts, he was a supreme sovereign. The five sovereigns had given everything for the Martial Heaven Continent, and Yun Tian had received the baton from Sovereign Yun Shang, using his own life to carry out the sovereign's will. The sovereigns didn't even leave any of their own legacies for others to worship. Nonsensical monsters and ignorant ideas had millions of brainless followers worshipping them, but while the sovereigns protected the people, the latter questioned their legends, instead believing in fake gods that they couldn't see or sense. When this tribulation descended, those fake gods that claimed to be omnipotent and capable of protecting their followers didn't appear. The only ones to protect them were the sovereigns. Great God of the stars, I beg you to protect your humble servant. Let this tribulation pass. Despite that, there were still people praying. That person was directly slapped out of his prayer by someone else who cursed him. What exactly are you praying for, you idiots? You have no idea who is really protecting you. The prayer furiously said, You're the idiot. It is precisely due to your ignorance that the God sent down this tribulation to punish you. As long as you calmly prayed, letting the gods know you were sincere, this tribulation would immediately end. The God is omniscient, omnipotent. Everyone in this world has sins. We must someone furiously punched him in the middle of his speech, destroying his head. Chaos started amongst the commoners. By saying that everyone had sins, he provoked countless people. Sovereigns were also people. Did the sovereigns also have sins? The cultivators within the core region hastily suppressed things to avoid large-scale casualties. Novaloon.com Shia Yaluo sighed. The most frightening aspect of foolish people is that they don't see their own foolishness. Wisdom is like a jade bottle the creator tossed to the ground and shattered. Some people picked up a bit more. Some people picked up a bit less, and some people didn't even get a single piece. Shia Yaoluo looked at Long Chen in the barrier. Then she looked at the ones fighting with their lives on the line for him. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, 
Yiz Hikyu, Don Mingyu, and the others. They are all willing to risk their lives for him. If it was me, would I also be willing? Wandered Shia Yaoluo. She suddenly bitterly laughed. I would naturally be willing, but he can't treat me like them. Shia Yunfeng looked at this little sister of his and alternated between tears and laughter. He couldn't help feeling hurt for her, but matters of love sometimes had no solutions. Sometimes a single look could tie people together for a lifetime. Sometimes no matter what happened, there was no destiny between two people. Forcing it was not possible. On the battlefield, the fighting was growing more and more intense. Mo Nian finally broke through and charged at the Aldevil Heavenwalker. In his fury, he unleashed suicidal moves just to force him off of the barrier. The Aldevil Heavenwalker didn't wish to be injured in this state. With him being the vessel of the God Incarnation, any injuries could easily leave behind hidden wounds that could harm his foundation. Feeling furious, the Aldevil Heavenwalker focused on Mo Nian. At the first opening, he smashed away the Central Plains cauldron and reached for Mo Nian's throat. Mo Nian sighed inside and closed his eyes. There was nothing to say. He simply wasn't as strong as his enemy. Bang. Just as Mo Nian had accepted his death, a ray of light appeared in front of Mo Nian, blocking the Aldevil Heavenwalker's attack. Who is it? The Aldevil Heavenwalker was startled. His attacking arm was Nam, the gambling heavenly Deos Hu Fang, here for pointers. Hu Feng's figure appeared in front of Mo Nian. The dye that always floated behind him was gone. Chapter 2784 Gambling Life Hu Fang. You, Mo Nian had a bad feeling when he looked at Hu Fang. Brother Mo, you should go handle Yi Ming. Leave this place to me. To be able to have made friends like Brother Mo, Brother Yun, and Brother Long in this lifetime. I, Hu Fang, have no regrets scram. The Aldevil Heavenwalker roared. That blow just now was incredibly strange. It had caused his power to simply bounce off. Hence, he unleashed a palm at Hu Fang. However, the void shuddered suddenly and a giant die appeared in front of Hu Fang. It once more knocked aside the Aldevil Heavenwalker's attack. Brother Mo, don't hesitate shouted Hu Fang. Brother Hu, hold on as long as you can. Once I kill Yi Ming, I'll immediately come to assist you. Mo Nian shot off toward Yi Ming with the Central Plains Cauldron. With him having left that side, the remaining fighters had been in a precarious position. So when he joined in again, the danger dropped quite a bit for every person. However, the feeling of unease in Mo Nian's heart grew more intense when he looked at Hu Fang. The giant die spun in the air. As it spun, a giant whirlpool appeared in the air, and a terrifying aura came out of it, causing the Aldevil Heavenwalker's expression to change. The Aldevil Heavenwalker then attacked the Dai with his full power. After that, he found that the Dai was something that existed between illusion and reality. Half his power was repelled, and the other half was absorbed. It's useless. This is the strongest move of the gambling heavenly Dao, as well as the final move. I didn't join the fighting all this time because I was waiting for the most critical moment. To tell the truth, I feel a bit unwilling to use this move on you because I know that there might be even stronger existences later. Hu Feng looked toward the four channels as the die spun. In the end, his gaze fell toward the silent immortal palace. What do you mean? demanded the Aldevil Heavenwalker. The gambling heavenly Deos heirs have another name, the 50-50s. No matter how strong the opponent is, we always have a 50% chance of beating them. We gamble against heavens and earth. But the strongest move is to gamble our own life. Using my life as the stakes, I bet all my chips to grasp a trace of the ephemeral existence within the 10,000 Deos, said Hu Fang. He was a bit skinny with his scholarly appearance, but he also gave off the feeling of an unbending warrior. What absolute nonsense. The Aldevil Heavenwalker sneered and went around the die to attack Hu Fang. However, he was startled to find that despite clearly having gone around the die already, when he attacked, his palm still landed on the die. He didn't know if he had simply not moved or if this space was being controlled, causing him to move with it. He was shocked by Hu Feng's die. He then coldly snorted, I can't be bothered to waste time with you. The Aldevil Heavenwalker abandoned him and flew toward Long Chen, only to find that no matter how he moved, Hu Feng and his die would appear in front of him. Spastime seemed to have twisted around him, 
preventing him from passing. Life lies within the gamble. Using my life as the stakes, I gamble against you. Whether or not you are willing, you must accept this gamble, said Hu Feng indifferently. Just at this moment, the die began to stop spinning. The number of dots at the top side kept changing until it finally stopped at five. How regretful. It wasn't six. Hu Feng couldn't help being disappointed. In the end, I was never able to see the legendary six points. My gambling arts aren't good enough. I've shamed the ancestors. What kind of damn thing is this? It's just a heretical sorcery. Let's have a real battle of spears and blades, shouted the Aldevil Heavenwalker. This die gave him the chills. It was an extremely dangerous existence, and he had no idea how to counter it. The die slowly opened, but at the next moment, this divine item of the gambling heavenly Tao actually started to dissipate in midair. Ha ha ha. Just like I said, it's just some sorcery to scare people. You can die now. The Aldevil Heavenwalker was first dumbfounded, but then he laughed and unleashed a punch at the die to fully break it. Boom. The die exploded, but it wasn't from the Aldevil Heavenwalker. It exploded on its own. After it exploded, a figure slowly appeared in its midst. It started out illusory but gradually grew real. It was a giant devil ape. The devil ape's body was pitch black with a bright luster. The power of its blood chi was absolutely terrifying. Heaven reaching devil ape. This life form can't possibly appear in a lower realm. The Aldevil Heaven Walker jumped in fright. The god inside of him recognized the origin of this devil ape. Boom. The devil ape then unleashed a punch, sending the Aldevil Heaven Walker flying. He almost coughed up blood. It roared, and an image of the scholarly Hu Feng appeared on its forehead. As for Hu Feng's true body, it had strangely vanished. His blood chi and spiritual strength were both gone, and his aura had become one with this terrifying devil ape. Boom. The devil ape stepped through the air, causing heaven and earth to crumble. It shot toward the Aldevil Heaven Walker like a black shooting star. Seeing this scene, the Aldevil Heaven Walker was shocked and infuriated. This heaven-reaching devil ape was a life form from the higher plane. Its bloodline wasn't pure, but in the lower plane, its power was astonishing. Even in his demigod state, it was extremely difficult for the Aldevil Heaven Walker to fight this devil ape. Furthermore, Hu Feng was controlling it, giving it plenty of combat experience. Hence, the Aldevil Heaven Walker wouldn't be able to handle it the same way he had handled Little Snow. The most shocking thing though was that the die had rolled a 5. If it had been a 6, he didn't know what kind of terrifying existence would have come out. The Aldevil Heaven Walker was blocked by the Devil Ape, while the Nine-Headed Lion was being chased down wretchedly. If it weren't for Little Snow being unable to control its new power, the Nine-Headed Lion would have long since been killed. But the latter was only able to barely hold on. The only one left was Yi Ming. He was pressing forward against the blockade of the Dragonblood Legion and the apex experts of the Martial Heaven Continent. The High Priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, Maruayan, the Old Man, and the other seniors were all fighting him. At the same time, Mo Nian, Wild, Yi's Hikyu, Zi Yan, and the other members of the Junior Generation were launching their strongest attacks at him. But in his demigod state, they were unable to stop him. Yi Ming's expression was growing more and more unsightly. At some point, an expression of terror appeared in his eyes. No, Yi Ming let out a cry of despair. His flesh suddenly split open, and his body was exploding inside of him. After that, Yi Ming's original aura and spiritual fluctuations were erased. Suddenly, divine energy burst out of Yi Ming, blowing away the surrounding experts. He instantly created a giant open space on the battlefield around himself. Useless thing. Such a useless immortal sprout can be destroyed. I'm not going to tie myself down. Let me personally destroy this world. Yi Ming's voice was no longer his own voice. It was icy, dark, and bloodthirsty. The current him was no longer a demigod, but a full god. Chapter 2785 Heaven Shaking Sword Yi Ming was no longer the old Yi Ming. The god had killed his soul and taken complete control of his body. At this moment, the divine energy fluctuations from Yi Ming caused space to fracture, and the high priest and the others couldn't even approach him. They were on two completely different levels. 
This God that possessed Yi Ming disliked the interference of his will, his blood, and his soul, so he directly killed Yi Ming. Now his divine energy circulated without anything inhibiting it. Yi Ming's expression was icy, and he began walking toward Long Chen step by step. Everyone charged over to stop him, only for a spatial pressure to knock them back. How can this be happening? This is completely different from the past dark eras. Even gods have descended to the lower plane to fight. Maruayan's expression completely changed. This battle had far surpassed his expectations. For a single star field's core, they were sacrificing so many life forms? Was that really worth it? Or did it mean that they had some ulterior motive? Yi Ming's gaze swept across Yan Tian, Mo Nian, Gu Yang, and the others. The latter kept trying to charge through, but the pressure of his divine energy did not allow it. Even the life god tree and the mother tree's energy was unable to approach Yi Ming. His divine energy blocked off everything, so people could only watch. At this moment, Yan Shian's barrier began to crack under the pressure of divine energy. Yan Shian's body also cracked like porcelain. No. Mo Nian and the others howled furiously. Yan Tian was linked to this barrier. So if it broke, Yan Tian would die. However, no one was able to get past Yi Ming's divine energy. You can stop now. Suddenly, a figure with a sword on his back appeared in front of Yi Ming. When that person appeared, Yu Zifeng let out a startled cry. It was Yu Zifeng's master, the Heavenly Sword Gate's new sect master, Ling Yunzi. Despite the thrumming divine energy, he managed to stand before Yi Ming. It seemed that he was outside the scope of the Divine Tao. I didn't expect an heir to the Sword God's will to appear in this kind of low-level place. Not bad. It's actually the Annihilation Sword Tao, said Yi Ming with a look of slight astonishment. The fact that Ling Yunzi had comprehended the Annihilation Sword Tao was instantly seen through by Yi Ming. He truly stood at an even higher level. However, Ling Yunzi's expression didn't twitch at all. Despite being seen through, he calmly said to Yu Zifeng, Watch closely. This is your master's final lesson to you. No matter what kind of opponent you're facing, as long as your heart comes out of its sheath, there is no one that you cannot cut down, even a god. Ling Yunzi's sword came out of its sheath like a bolt of lightning. He didn't hesitate at all. A brilliant sword light then illuminated the sky as he slashed his sword at Yi Ming. Even if his opponent was a god, Ling Yanzi was so confident, not knowing your own power, Yi Ming snorted and waved his hand. The power of a divine Tao transformed into a sharp sword slashing toward Ling Yanzi. Boom. At this moment, divine light exploded and Yi Ming's sword was hacked in two. As the sword light fell, everything came to a stop. Ling Yanzi held his sword, pointing it to the ground at an angle. As for Yi Ming, he stared in astonishment. A thin line slowly grew from the top of Yi Ming's head all the way to his throat. Everyone was stunned. Ling Yanzi had not just broken Yi Ming's attack but had split his head. That was a god he was fighting. A true god. Even the high priest and Maruayan were dumbfounded. This sword had surpassed the power of a divine Tao. It had reached an incomprehensible level. The world was deathly silent as if time had stopped. Ling Yanzi and Yi Ming continued to stare at each other. Finally. It was Yi Ming who sighed in admiration. What a powerful sword. If it was my true body here, I really might have been killed. Too bad though. This is just a spiritual body of mine. Your annihilation will would only have maximum effect on a true body. It really is regretful Ling Yunzi shook his head. Sighing. It seems that the person you are all protecting is this world son of the heavens. You should be his companion Dao protector. Right? For even the Dao Protector to be so powerful, it seems that this era's heavenly sun is incredible. Our luck is really good. Such a strong sun of the heavens can be refined into a human pill of incalculable value, said Yi Ming, glancing toward Long Chen. Suddenly, Yi Ming's divine energy surged. After that, countless runes appeared, and the wound to his head slowly healed. No more blood flowed. I should warn you, if you can't kill him, then you and everyone behind you, will meet a terrible end. Ling Yanzi's sword began to dissipate. Then his hand, arm, and body began to scatter. Master, Yu Zifeng wept. Just now, he had been delighted by Ling Yanzi's attack, thinking that his master had really managed to slay a god. But it was his master who died. 
Although your attack is sharp, breaking the power of my divine Tao and injuring my body, a sword cultivator's defensive power is too weak to endure the backlash of my divine power. You slashed me once, and in exchange you're dying. HMPH. Sword cultivators are all like this, sneered Yi Ming. He began walking forward again as Ling Yanzi's body fully dissipated. Master, Yu Zifeng cried out. All his life, he had been a solitary character, but he viewed Ling Yanzi as his father. He couldn't accept this result. Zifeng, master has returned to heaven and earth. Remember, when the sword is in your heart, your master will always be beside you. Just as Yu Zifeng howled in grief, a message rang out in his mind. I'll kill you. Hearing his master's final words, Yu Zifeng was unable to contain the pain, and his sword suddenly came out of its sheath, tearing the void apart. From the side, Mo Nian and the others cried out but were unable to stop him. As the domain of divine power was split open, Yu Zifeng charged through, ignoring the power of divine Dao just like Ling Yanzi to slash Yi Ming. HMPH, although you have sword will, you haven't comprehended a specific law of the sword Dao. Such an unrefined power is far lacking compared to your master. Yi Ming sneered and waved his hand. After that, astral winds blew and destroyed Yu Zifeng's sword into countless pieces that pierced through his body. If it weren't for the special clothes that Guo Ran and Xia Chen had made for him, he might have died. In any case, he was covered in blood from having the fragments of his own sword pierce him. I'll kill you, even with no sword, even with his body covered in blood. Yu Zifeng used his fingers as a sword, attacking again. You're in so much pain. I'll be a good person and send you to see your master. Yi Ming once more condensed a sword, slashing it at Yu Zifeng. Zifeng, the dragon blood warriors cried out. If this sword landed, not even ten lives would be enough for Yu Zifeng to survive. Blood splashed. However, everyone was shocked to see Yu Zifeng's fingers pierce Yi Ming's chest. As for Yi Ming's sword. It was caught by a sword made of white flames. A peerlessly beautiful woman in a white dress had appeared, blocking Yi Ming's divine sword. Chapter 2786 Hu Feng Falls Everyone was dumbfounded. A person that no one had expected to come had appeared. Yu Kingsuan descended like a fairy. Pill Valley had been hiding ever since the Dark Era's battles started, and there were all kinds of rumors stating that Pill Valley and the divine families were jackals of the same tribe. However, the pill fairy had appeared at this time to save Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng had used his fingers as a sword to pierce Yi Ming's chest. Driven by his fury and hate, Yu Zifeng finally comprehended the power of the sword god that Ling Yanzi had taught him. However, after this one attack, Yu Zifeng's body collapsed. He had used up all his power with this attack and fainted. The pill fairy waved her hand, sending Yu Zifeng out. After that, Mo Nian and the others received him. The life god tree's branches then wrapped around him to help him recover. With the life god tree, as long as someone didn't instantly die, they could still be saved. With Yu Zifeng saved, everyone looked at the pill fairy, unable to imagine why she would appear now. Brahma's power? You are Lord Brahma's follower? What are you doing? Yi Ming stared at the pill fairy in shock and then anger. He spoke of Lord Brahma with reverence but he was infuriated that one of his followers would block him. There is no need for you to kill him, said the pill fairy indifferently. There was divine light flowing around the pill fairy's body, giving her a holy and sacred appearance. Her voice also contained unquestionable might. Fine, then please get out of the way. I only want this person and the core, said Yi Ming. No, you can't kill him. The pill fairy shook her head. Yi Ming's fury burst. Just who are you? If you are Lord Brahma's follower, you shouldn't be blocking me. We're all listening to Lord Brahma's orders in this battle. Do you want to switch sides now? Have you betrayed Lord Brahma? Yi Ming's furious roar stunned everyone. Yi Ming had just inadvertently exposed a shocking secret. It seemed that this entire battle was due to Lord Brahma. Betraying him doesn't matter. I never believed in him. I also had no choice in becoming his divine daughter. With me present today. Don't even think about passing, said the pill fairy. Traitor, I'll tidy up Lord Brahma's followers today, roared Yi Ming, his divine energy erupting. A torrential power forced back the pill fairy's body. Boom. The space behind the pill fairy collapsed, 
revealing two divine statues. It was Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night. At this moment, divine light filled the world, and the sound of sacred chanting resounded. Divine light shone out of the pill fairy. Bullshit. You are a traitor. How can you still use Lord Brahma's power? Raged Yi Ming. The space beneath Yi Ming collapsed, and he was forced to retreat step by step. By the seventh step, he was already far into the distance. With Yi Ming repelled, Mo Nian and the others felt the pressure on them lessen. It was like they finally got a breath of air after drowning. Yi Ming's divine energy was suffocating. Boom. An intense explosion shook the world. Yi Ming was knocked back by the pill fairy's sword, and then the day night furnace appeared, smashing him. With the support of the pill fairy's divine energy, its power was completely unprecedented. It was like a star smashing into Yi Ming's body. Yi Ming was then sent smashing into the earth, causing it to ripple like water. After that, a wave of earth soared into the sky, burying countless cities. Defend. Song Mingyuan and Li Qi hastily summoned an earthen shield around everyone. At the same time, the life god tree and the mother tree's branches wove into another barrier. Boom. The branches exploded along with the earthen shield. People felt like their bodies had been wrong. When they crawled out of the earth, they found that the entire world's terrain had changed. They couldn't even tell its original appearance. The mother tree and the life god tree once more spread their branches. After that, Guo Ran looked in Yun Shian's direction and saw that his barrier was still fine, allowing him to sigh with relief. However, when he looked closer, he saw that Yun Shian's eyes had already lost their light. His physical body was dead, and only his soul was still maintaining the barrier. The barrier had reached its limit, but with its protection, everything happening in the outside world was unable to disturb Long Chen. Boss Yun Tian Mo Nian couldn't help tearing up. Yun Tian was an astonishingly talented person, yet he had been willing to be a protector instead of the main character, essentially covering up his glorious light. At this moment, more and more of the invading experts began to pop out of the ground as well. They continued attacking Yun Tian. Kill. Kill them all, roared Mo Nian. Yun Shian's death filled him with pain, and this hatred was cast on these invaders. His arrows then rained down and blood-colored light glowed on them. Mo Nian was using his essence blood as arrows, which left a path of devastation in their path. They reached all the way to the end of the world, leaving a line of corpses and blood. With Mo Nian's overflowing killing intent, he didn't mind sacrificing the power of his essence blood for greater killing power. Right now, killing countless invaders vented the hatred in his heart. A blood debt must be repaid with blood. Boom. In the distance, the Brahma Divine Diagram appeared, causing space to collapse. It instantly sucked Yi Ming in. The Pill Fairy and Yi Ming then began to fight inside of the Divine Diagram. All of a sudden, a roar reverberated through the air, and the nine-headed lion's aura was gone. Just like Yi Ming, his god was infuriated by his weakness and killed him to fully possess him. After that, the Aldevil Heaven Walker's aura also erupted to a new level, with a palm. The heaven-reaching Devil 8 was blown apart. It wasn't just the heaven-reaching Devil 8 that was destroyed, but Hu Feng's aura also vanished along with it. Amongst the remains of the Devil 8 were a few broken bone tiles. Those were the nine heavenly tiles of the gambling heavenly Tao. But now, they were broken and fell into the ground, their divine light extinguished and covered by the earth. Hu Feng Guo Ran and the others were filled with grief as Hu Feng fell. Their comrades were dying one by one. All of you can die now. The Aldevil Heaven Walker suddenly unleashed a punch at the void. As a result, the four spatial gates were blown open, and countless foreign experts charged out. Chapter 2787 Nithurgood Sisters It's Over When people saw these newcomers' auras, they shut their eyes. The majority of these new experts actually had a trace of a sovereign's aura. Some even had the aura of a divine Tao and could be considered demigods. This wasn't a battle anymore but a slaughter. It was a group of demigods slaughtering mortals. The Martial Heaven Continent's people had lost all their hopes. When the four channels were blown open, it was as if the entire world was crumbling, and cracks spread in the void. A mortal world like the Martial Heaven Continent could not contain this much divine power. Ha! Huh. Being able to exchange blows with a god as a mortal is enough to brag for a lifetime. Gu Yang spat out some blood and cursed. 
Although that was what he said, the feeling of helplessness and despair when facing armies from the divine world wasn't something simple bravery could contend against. Boom. Suddenly, the sky at the center of the martial heaven continent shattered. A sword then came out of that shattered space, containing an overwhelming aura of death. After that, Sword Chi left a giant cut throughout the entire central plains. Any invaders touched by that Sword Chi were wiped out of existence whether they had touched upon the sovereign realm or were demigods. At this moment, Death Chi flowed into the continent, and a pair of figures appeared within the black mist. They both wore black dresses, a stark contrast to their pale white skin, and both figures were identical. They both had a pair of sapphire eyes that were like gemstones in the night. Their beauty was so otherworldly that even every single one of their eyelashes was symmetrical. It was a suffocating beauty that shouldn't exist in this world. Big sisters, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others cried out. These were the netherworld's gods, Mian Kangyu and Leng Yuian. For most of the Dragonblood Legion, their impression of these two had grown very light because they were gods. Mortals' memories of such things would slowly fade. However, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others had received gifts from Leng Yuian, so they had certain karma binding them together allowing them to remember. You want to kill my man? Then you'll have to pass through me first. It seems that it's been a long time since I've slaughtered anyone. I wonder if I'm rusty. Len Yuian held her bone sword, overlooking the invading experts with a Nithurgod's domineering air. As she said this, she swept out her bone sword, and divine energy shook the world. With a single wave, the entire battlefield was emptied. It was unknown just how many invaders she killed with that one blow. You lower gods dare to interfere in this battle? Do you know what kind of calamity you've made for yourselves? shouted the Aldevil Heavenwalker. At this moment, Mian Kangayu looked at Long Chen. His eyes were closed and he was still seated in the air. She then smiled. Loving him was already a calamity. Who cares so much? Mian Kangayu's figure shook. She then appeared in front of the Aldevil Heavenwalker and unleashed a slash of her sword, sending the Aldevil Heavenwalker flying into the distance. Half of his body was destroyed. After sending the Aldevil Heavenwalker flying, she attacked the nine-headed lion. However, his entire body lit up and he chose to flee rather than fight. This resulted in her attack passing by him and continuing to the east. The eastern wasteland was then cut in two halves. Mian Kangayu and Len Yuian were true gods. If they were to descend to the martial heaven continent during ordinary times, they would be restricted by the laws of this place. However, at this time, the laws of the continent were in chaos, and the spatial walls of the world had weakened. Because of it, the two of them managed to pierce through the path of reincarnation to appear here. Although the two of them had paid quite a price for this, they managed to reach this battlefield. Mian Kangayu's destructive blow scared the martial heaven continent's experts. This was a true god. She could destroy the world. They had received reinforcements from the immemorial path, the spirit world, and the starfield divine world. Those people had come for Long Chen. Now, even true gods had crossed worlds. And based on Mian Kangayu's look toward Long Chen and her words, they had also come for him. Legend had it that Long Chen's charisma was so great that his pickup arts were unrivaled. It was unknown just how many peerless beauties had been lured away by him. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, and Dong Mingyu were all nation toppling beauties, and yet they all were undyingly loyal to Long Chen. Even the Pill Fairy, his mortal enemy, had come at a critical moment, betraying her own faith. Hence, people were filled with disbelief. Could picking up girls also reach the realm of surpassing all laws and surpassing the heavens? Even gods could be seduced? This was definitely a heaven-defying ability. At the core where the barrier was, Shia Yaoluo simply sighed with a bitter smile. Perhaps only people like them are a match for him. The women appearing around Long Chen simply grew stronger and stronger. Now, even gods had appeared, and this actually ended up comforting Shia Yaoluo. She seemed to realize what their difference was. However, she didn't realize that the real difference was in the heart. She had implicated the deaths of many people in the Four Nations ancient remnant due to her childish character, causing her to still be filled with shame and guilt to this day. She had then made it her life's mission to make up for those mistakes. Because of this, 
she began to see herself as a sinner, looking down on herself. That was the true reason why she gave up pursuing her own happiness, because she felt that she didn't deserve happiness. Regretfully, people could see others clearly, but they couldn't see themselves. She felt like being unhappy was the best way to atone for her sins. Xia Yunfang, Xia Yunkong, and the others all understood the truth, but it wasn't something people could simply convince her of. Hence, they were powerless as well. Len Yuian had wiped out the invading armies with a single slash. Only a few with the auras of sovereigns managed to escape the net and get to the army of the Dragonblood Legion, but any with the power of a divine Tao had been slain by her. While those sovereign experts were extremely terrifying, fortunately, Mian Kangaya was able to force back the Aldevil Heavenwalker and the Nine-Headed Lion by herself, allowing Little Snow to return and guard everyone. Hence, the crisis was temporarily alleviated. Now, divine power raged on the battlefield. Every attack caused heaven and earth to collapse, deforming the martial heaven continent completely. Boom. With another blow, Mian Kangaya forced the Nine-Headed Lion and the Aldevil Heavenwalker back once again. The two of them weren't a match for her. She was about to chase after them when her heart shook. She then appeared in front of Yun Shian's barrier. When she looked at Long Chen, her expression changed. Yuan, something seems to be wrong with Long Chen. Chapter 2788 Burning the boats Me and Kang Ayu noticed that Long Chen's eyes were half open. Black lines were flickering within his eyes. Even as a god, those black lines terrified her. They possessed a destructive power that made her uneasy. Furthermore, as the stars flowed around him, they seemed to be absorbing endless resentment, causing Long Chen to become a bit foreign. Evil. Those are the nine star heirs purgatory eyes. It proves that he's about to break through to the sovereign realm. The pill fairy's voice suddenly rang out from the Brahma divine diagram. Suddenly, waves of demigods came flooding out of the four spatial gates. At the same time, Divine Light appeared on top of Yi Ming, the Nine-Headed Lion, and the Aldevil Heavenwalker's heads. Their auras once more changed. The Brahma Divine Diagram was then broken. The God's full power was finally passing through the Wall of Ascension with the Spatial Gates fully open. Now, they were only limited in that it was their Yuan spirits who descended. Despite that, their power instantly soared, and the laws of the Martial Heaven Continent were shattered. You dare to interfere in Lord Brahma's matters. You lower gods haven't even awakened your god seals. Who gave you the courage to do such a thing? Roared the nine-headed lion as he attacked me and Kangayu. I don't know who Lord Brahma is, nor do I care. But if he dares to attack Long Chen, he has to get past me first. Said me and Kangayu, slashing her sword. What ignorance. Anyone who shows disrespect to Lord Brahma will die a miserable death. The Aldevil Heavenwalker also charged over. You traitor, I'll settle things with you later. Yi Mian came flying out of the Brahma Divine Diagram. He managed to force back the Pill Fairy and charge toward Long Chen. However, just at that moment, he staggered, his expression changing. What? What did she say? A nine star heir. Kill him. At first, they hadn't realized what the Pill Fairy had said, but the title of a nine star heir terrified them. Yi Ming, the Nine-Headed Lion, and the Aldevil Heavenwalker suddenly charged toward Long Chen, their faces filled with terror. They even turned their backs on Mian Kangayu. Len Yuian flew back and attacked Yi Ming, forcing him back, but his powerful divine energy forced her back as well. The resulting shockwave from their clash shook the entire Martial Heaven continent. As a result, Yan Shian's barrier cracked even further. Kangayu, we can't stay here. Stop them, shouted Len Yuian. As Nathurgods, they didn't belong to this world. They were unable to replenish their power here, so it caused them to weaken more and more. At this moment, Len Yuian and Mian Kangayu crossed their bone swords, forming a giant cross. The divine marks on their foreheads lit up. Upon seeing this, Yi Ming, the nine headed lion, and the Aldevil Heavenwalker's expressions changed. They hastily shot back, but they were too late. That giant cross was sucking them in. Nathurgood cross seal. Me and Kangayu and Len Yuian shouted in unison. The three of them were now trapped within the cross. Kill them. Shouted Yi Ming. He attacked this strange seal from within but was unable to get out. 
He then chose to attack me and Kangyu and Len Yuian. However, his attack passed through their bodies. The two of them seemed illusory, as if they didn't exist. It's useless. Their souls are linked to their divine throne. If the divine throne isn't broken, their true bodies won't die. Attack the seal. They can't last much longer, shouted the Aldevil Heavenwalker, seemingly knowing a bit about this technique. Kill that person. Do everything you can to kill him, even if you have to kill yourself, howled the nine-headed lion. The demonic beast race instantly went crazy. They then charged recklessly, and when they were blocked by little snow, they directly self-detonated. The others also seemed to have been put under a spell, and they charged forward, completely unafraid of death. Jinying, protect yourself. I'm going out. The old man made his determination. Their enemies were unleashing an all-out assault, so they could only use their lives to hold them back. Remember our agreement. You must come back alive. Don't break my heart. All right. Jin Ying caressed the old man's face warmly. All right. I promise you that I will come back alive. The old man nodded. With a final look at Jin Ying, he charged forward with the heaven-splitting blade. Suddenly, the heaven-splitting divine tablet behind him exploded. In that instant, the old man's aura surged, and a flame burned on top of his head. Seeing that, the heaven-splitting divine sect's disciples were filled with pain. The divine tablet had ignited the accumulated karmic luck of the sect in other words. After this battle, the heaven-splitting divine sect would be no more. Kill. The heaven-splitting divine sect's disciples howled, their eyes red. The divine tablet had sacrificed itself to give all of them heaven-defying power. As long as that flame remained above the old man's head, they would be supported by this heaven-defying power. Bao Buping and Chang Hao then charged out, unleashing consecutive blows of the ninth form of split the heavens. Even demigods were unable to block them. Boom. The majestic Zhuanshan Tower also exploded, transforming into runes that fell onto the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. The disciples wept. After today, there would be no more Zhuanshan Dao sect Zhao Ziyan, Hua Xiaoyu, Mu Qingxuan, and the other disciples felt empty inside. Warriors of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, do not feel grief. Whether the Zhuanshan Dao sect exists or not, we will always be disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Today's battle will determine the future of the Martial Heaven Continent's countless lives. We have no choice. All we can do is fight. Li Xiangxuan was the first to charge out. Kill. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples roared crazily and attacked the invaders with no fear. Instead, they attacked with hatred that was carved into their bones and engraved in their hearts. With the heaven-splitting divine sect and the Zhuanshan Dao sect taking the lead, the martial heaven continent's various powers also began igniting their karmic luck to fight their final battle. At this moment, the dragonblood warriors were in a grand formation slaughtering the invaders. They became the final line of defense. This was a bloody and cruel battle. Within the Tempest of Blood, one warrior after another perished. At the core, countless people wept. As they were too weak, they could only watch as these experts protecting them fell one by one. That kind of pain could not be described with words. Casualties even began to appear amongst the Dragonblood Legion. This battle was too bloody, too cruel. Seeing their brothers fall one by one, the Dragonblood warriors roared like beasts. Boom. Suddenly. The void shuddered and the flames surrounding Kujianying were extinguished. The power of the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet was exhausted. Master, Yi Lingxian suddenly seemed to go mad and frantically rushed over to Kujianying. It seemed that Kujianying had been consumed by the battle, only thinking about killing more enemies. Hence, she didn't keep track of how much time remained. With the support of the Martial Heaven Continent gone, she was instantly surrounded by enemies. Chapter 2789 Injury and Pain Alliance Head Retreat The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples tried to charge through the tide of invaders. Some of them even directly self-detonated in order to open a path. However, there were too many enemies, and they were charging forward recklessly with no regard for their own lives either. Yi Lingxian was also repelled before she could reach Pujianying. She could only watch as her master was drowned by the enemies. At this moment, her vision darkened and she almost fainted. Jinying, a giant blade swept through the air, blasting apart the crowd of invaders. 
the old man had charged over, but he was one step too late. Without the support of the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet, Ku Jinying's soul was unable to endure the power of a divine Tao. She fell limply. No, the old man grabbed Ku Jinying's body, and he howled like a beast, repeatedly shouting her name. However, her soul had already vanished. No matter how he called her, she wouldn't wake up. No, this can't be real. We had an agreement to marry after this battle. Jin Ying, don't scare me. Wake up. You can't die. The old man shook Ku Jin Ying's body, but she didn't reply at all. His crying broke people's hearts. The two of them had spent a lifetime fighting and had missed out on their springtime of youth. After continuing to fight for so many years, when they finally prepared to marry, Ku Jin Ying would never wake up again. When the two of them fought, the old man was so angry that it felt like he might explode. But Ku Jin Ying always remained in his heart. Now, he wished she would wake up. Even if she angered him every day, he would consider it a blessing. No, the old man cried out. He had missed out on many blessings in this lifetime. Now that he finally grabbed hold of one, it was mercilessly taken away. This was the world's cruelest torture. Old man, get back. Our own support is running out. Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the other disciples were doing their best to protect the old man, but he was lost in his pain. He didn't hear them. Boom. Just at this moment, the Nathurgood seal was broken. As a result, me and Kang Gaiyu and Len Yuian vanished. They had used up all their energy. All of you can die now. Yi Ying, the nine-headed lion, and the Aldeville Heaven Walker descended from the sky their divine energy exploding out of them. This apocalyptic power was enough to instantly wipe out everyone. Long Chen, wake up. In that instant, everyone despaired. They had nothing they could use to face the power of gods and could only wait for death. Meng Chi turned back to look at Long Chen before painfully shutting her eyes. Boom. Suddenly, an astral barrier appeared in the air, repelling all three waves of divine energy. This barrier appeared to be made of stars and not even the power of a divine Tao could shake it. Long Chen, boss, this astral barrier appeared just as everyone fell into despair. They then looked toward Long Chen to see that he was standing. His black robes fluttered without any wind. Countless stars revolved in his eyes as if there was an entire cosmos within them. Standing there, he appeared like the ruler of gods, an incomparably domineering existence that caused worlds to shake. Long Chen had woken up at the most critical moment. When he came to his senses, he almost didn't recognize this world. As the stars revolved in his eyes, he seemed to be able to see into the past. Everything that had happened on the battlefield slowly flowed into his mind. The five sovereigns passed away. He saw Sovereign Han Wei's longing look and Sovereign Yun Shang's guilt. He also saw Yun Tian using his life to maintain the barrier to protect him. After that, Hu Feng's aura vanished, Ling Yunzi's aura vanished, and Li Xiangxuan's aura vanished. Many familiar auras were gone. He then saw the old man weeping and the fiendish experts from other worlds. At this moment, killing intent exploded out of Long Chen's eyes. No, the old man has gone crazy. Suddenly, Bao Buping slammed a hand on the old man's back. With the final dregs of karmic luck of the heaven-splitting divine sect, the old man had actually forced his spiritual yuan to flow backward. It was a suicidal act. Long Chen directly rushed over. Looking at the old man, he couldn't help but cry. There was a pair of eyes saying that he had nothing holding him back from leaving any longer. The old man looked at Long Chen and nodded. Good child, you're finally awake. Now the martial heaven continent is saved. Don't blame me. I cannot wait long enough to see you wipe out all these fiends. I must accompany Jin Ying, so don't stop me. No, old man, you can't do this. We still need you, cried out Chang Hao. The old man shook his head and then looked at Ku Jin Ying in his embrace. He gently stroked her cheek. You've all grown up. You no longer need me, but Jin Ying does. Although she put on a strong act, she's actually scared of many things, especially the dark. If she's all alone on that black path, she'll be afraid. So. I have to accompany and protect her. If there was another lifetime, I'd be willing to be amused. I'll just listen to whatever she says. If she's right, then good. If she's wrong, then so what? Is fighting over such things worth it? 
I fought with her for a lifetime already. The old man once more reversed the flow of his spiritual yuan, but Bao Buping kept his hand on the old man's back, preventing him from killing himself. Bastard, let go. Otherwise, it will be too late, roared the old man. Old man, people could only weep. The old man had made his decision, and no one could change his mind. Good children, I've never begged anyone for anything in this life, but you can take this as me begging you. The old man looked at his disciples and sighed. With this, Bao Buping could only pull back his trembling hand and close his eyes. The old man then wore a smile of release, and the fire of his soul slowly extinguished. He left while holding the one he loved the most. No, Bao Buping, Chang Hao, Boss Bao, and the others wept. Although they normally fought, their feelings for each other were strong and sincere. They couldn't accept this. Long Chen's eyes were also filled with tears. Even as boundless astral energy flowed within his body, he couldn't save the old man. That feeling of powerlessness stoked his rage. Boom. The astral barrier shuddered as Yi Ying, the nine-headed lion, and the Aldevil Heavenwalker assaulted it. Only then were they startled out of their pain. The battle had not ended, and now was not the time to grieve. We'll kill them all as vengeance for the old man, roared Bao Buping. Let me avenge this enmity Long Chen's figure suddenly vanished, reappearing outside of the barrier just as the three of them once more attacked. Die, Long Chen roared, his voice like thunder. As stars revolved around his body, the 10,000 Deos were collapsing. He then unleashed a single punch at the three of them. Chapter 2790 Gods kneel and beg for mercy with a furious roar. Long Chen shattered the heavens. Yi Ying, the nine-headed lion and the Aldevil Heavenwalker felt like a star had smashed into them. With a muffled grunt, the three of them were smashed into the ground, and they hacked up blood. That was god blood that was instantly incinerated by the laws of the world. A-H-H-H. -H -H. Long Chen suddenly roared. This roar contained endless grief, endless anger, and blood-chilling killing intent. Right now, Long Chen's six stars appeared behind him. The Feng Fu star illuminated the life fate star and the life fate star illuminated the divine gate star. They formed a triangle. The Aeliath star, Enlightenment Palace star, and Nether Gate star also linked up, forming their own triangle. They superimposed on each other. When the two triangles overlapped, they formed a six-sided star, and an unprecedented apocalyptic power burst out of Long Chen. A ripple then spread on the battlefield devouring the invaders before they even understood what was happening and blasting them into pieces. Hence, the entire battlefield turned red. Millions and millions were instantly blasted into blood mist. The complete six-star battle armor had finally manifested after Long Chen became a sovereign at the 13th Heaven stage. He finally stood at the peak of the martial path. Endless power surged within him. But so what? The five sovereigns were dead. Yun Tian was dead. Hu Feng was dead. Ling Yunzi was dead. Even the old man had died. All that power within him was useless. Die. With scarlet eyes, Long Chen unleashed a claw that raked through the ground, and a figure was pulled out of it. It was Yi Ming. Yi Ming was horrified. He was caught by a giant astral hand, and no matter how he struggled, he was unable to shake this astral power. You damnable invaders Long Chen looked at Yi Ming with utmost hatred and pain. His face was twisted, making him seem like a crazed devil. Divine Flame Ignition. Yi Ming was so terrified that he ignited his own core. There was danger of his realm falling, but he could no longer bother with that. You want to ignite? Long Chen suddenly squeezed. Yi Ming, who was now enveloped in a burning divine flame, was still unable to escape his fate. He was squeezed until he exploded. Those flames were instantly extinguished. At this moment, a god from a higher plane was killed. Suddenly, the Aldevil Heavenwalker and the Nine-Headed Lion charged out of the ground. However, they weren't going for Long Chen but for the distant spatial gates. Unfortunately, a saber image swept through the air, destroying all four spatial gates. Seeing this, the Aldevil Heavenwalker and the Nine-Headed Lion were instantly dumbfounded. The legends were true. Nine star heirs were all heaven defiers existences that fought across realms without effort. This was why when they learned that he was a nine-star heir, they did everything they could to kill him before he became a sovereign. Now that he was a sovereign, with his six-star battle armor, 
Long Chen wiped out all his enemies on the battlefield. With just one attack, all of them were killed except for the three of them. Moreover, with Yi Ming crushed, that just left the two of them. Yi Ming had even ignited his own divine flame to temporarily multiply his power, but he still couldn't escape his fate. As for the two of them, there was nowhere for them to go. Fight? They couldn't win. Flee? They couldn't get away. The two of them felt like they had been tossed into hell. Long Chen held Evil Moon. Black Chi swirled around it. At this moment, Long Chen's killing intent merged with Evil Moon's sinister aura. Black Chi swirled around Long Chen's body as well when he stepped toward the Aldevil Heaven Walker and the Nine Headed Lion. He was like a devil king from hell. Don't kill us. We had to follow orders. I, I can tell you secrets regarding the Nine Star Air, cried out the Aldevil Heaven Walker. In his fear, he actually knelt on the ground. Seeing that, the nine headed lion also didn't hesitate, kneeling and crying out, That's right, the nine star heirs are hunted throughout the nine heavens and ten lands, especially by the nine underworld hunters. They are specialized in finding you. We know many secrets that can help you. Don't kill us. Seeing these gods that looked down on all of them now begging for their lives, the martial heaven continents experts were filled with scorn. These were gods? Such cowardly existences were gods? Suddenly, in the distance, the ground erupted. The Divine Family's immortal sealing palace slowly rose into the air. After the battle, the terrain had changed, and it had been buried beneath the ground. People had almost forgotten it until now. At this moment, its gate slowly opened. Long Aoshan, Yi Liangchen, Jiang Wachen, and Feng Fei all appeared. Feng Fei looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression, seemingly with some kind of pity, but the other three were filled with delight. All four of them had sovereign crowns on their heads now. Long Aoshan sneered. Long Chen, so you are one of the nine star demons. You hid yourself quite well, but you are fated to be killed by my hands. Last time, the immortal ceiling palace's item spirit recognized your identity, so I've prepared quite a gift for you. Just so you know, I sacrificed all the immortal corpses and gave up their chances to become demigod bodies for this gift. It definitely won't disappoint you. Ha ha ha. Over 30 figures walked out from the depths of the immortal ceiling palace. These people were wearing black robes and had black chains around their waists. Every single one of them wore a blank face. On their foreheads was an immortal character, Underworld, and it emitted strange fluctuations. Assassin's Dong Mingyu's expression changed. She instantly recognized their profession. They were assassins amongst gods. The Nine Underworld Hunters, the Nine-Headed Lion and the Aldevil Heaven Walker cried out in shock and joy. Without hesitation, they fled toward them. Without even glancing at these two, Long Chen swung his saber, blasting them apart. But all of a sudden, clapping sounds rang out from within the palace. A middle-aged man walked out. Looking at Long Chen, not bad, truly not bad. You're quite an interesting nine star heir. You seem a bit different from the others, but hopefully you can give me a pleasant surprise. Otherwise, killing you just like this would be quite regretful. Chapter 2791 Nether Corpse Insect Poison This middle aged man looked normal but gave off an extremely sinister feeling. His gaze in particular seemed to be searching for people's weaknesses at all times. It seemed that he didn't even care about Long Chen killing the Aldevil Heaven Walker and the Nine Headed Lion. He simply walked out of the palace. I've been with the Nine Underworld Hunters for 3000 years, and you are the fourth Nine Star Heir I've encountered. It seems that I'm about to profit again. The middle aged man laughed, looking at Long Chen like he was his prey. As for Long Aoshan, Jiang Wachen, and Yi Liang Chen, they were just as happy. In their eyes, Long Chen was definitely dead today. Long Chen, although I'm not personally killing you, it's fine. I'll take care of those brothers and lovers of yours. Ha ha ha. Long Aoshan finally felt the pleasure of revenge for Long Chen killing his mother. I also won't kill you personally. I'll make sure you stay alive in this world. Long Chen snorted and suddenly appeared right in front of Long Aoshan. Long Aoshan was startled. Not expecting Long Chen to directly come toward him with the nine underworld hunters present. Long Chen was incredibly fast and instantly froze the space around Long Aoshan. The latter couldn't even move. However, just at that moment, 
A chain flew out at Long Chen. The head of the chain looked to be a viper's head. Bang! Long Chen raised his arm, knocking aside the chain. Its path deviated toward Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen. No, the two of them cried out in horror, but they had no time to flee. The chain struck them, instantly blasting them into blood mist. Beside Jiang Wachen, Feng Fei was splattered with blood, and she was pale with horror. The chain contained the power of a divine Tao, and a terrifying kind at that. A mortal would be instantly killed on contact, and the chain only barely flew by her face. It all happened so fast that it ended before it even began. The previously mighty Long Aotian had his throat in Long Chen's hand. He was like a chicken. The Nine Underworld Hunter who had attacked was surprised. He had been careless, not expecting Long Chen to be so powerful. His chain trembled as he prepared to attack again, but the middle-aged man waved his hand, stopping his movements. The middle-aged man looked at Long Chen indifferently. It seemed that he didn't care about Long Aotian's life or death. Please, save me Long Aotian squeezed out some words. Even all these experts couldn't protect him. What no one had expected was that Long Aotian's pants became wet. He was so scared that he had pissed himself. Coward. The countless experts of the martial heaven continent looked at him scornfully. This was a sovereign? A peerless heavenly genius? He broke down as soon as he faced death. Long Chen had faced death countless times without bending or lowering his head. In comparison, Long Aotian was an embarrassment. The middle-aged man shook his head. You were the one who interjected while I was speaking. Do you think this is your place to talk? It can only be said that you were courting your own death. Although you sent the information of the Nine Star Heir to me, and I did promise the Long family to give you some benefits, you've irritated me. I don't really care about you. If you like interjecting yourself, you can continue begging. This middle-aged man's status was clearly extremely high. Just interrupting him was a grave sin for Long Aotian. That was why he didn't stop Long Chen. No. Long Aotian cried out in despair. Was there any chance he could survive when he was caught in Long Chen's hands? I beg you. The Long family will repay you. Begged Long Aotian. Just based on you? The Long family has disciples through various worlds and countless heavenly geniuses. As for your branch, with your talent, you wouldn't even reach the middle tier. Perhaps if I saved a dog of the Long family, they might feel some gratitude. But do you think the Long family will repay me for saving an ant? Are you joking with me? The middle-aged man shook his head. I cough. Long Aotian tried to speak once more, only for Long Chen to crush his throat. Rainbow blood spurted out. You don't need to beg him because I won't kill you. You took my spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone. You've caused me endless pain. Do you think that I'll just kill you like this? No. I'll let you live. I'll make you live a life worse than death. A coward like you definitely doesn't have the courage to kill yourself. Long Chen took out a black pill. He then stuffed it into Long Aotian's mouth. I prepared this pill for you a long time ago. Now I can finally use it. Long Aotian stubbornly clenched his teeth. Only for Long Chen to break his teeth with a finger and stuff the pill through. Long Chen tossed Long Aotian aside after feeding him the pill. He really did just let him off. Feeling delighted, Long Aotian fled into the Immortal Palace. However, he had barely reached the gates when he suddenly screamed. Sharp points began to sprout out of his body like bamboo. They wriggled like maggots coming out of a rotting corpse. Underworld corpse insect poison. The middle-aged man was finally a bit astonished. He recognized this poison. However, he was actually wrong. This was a special existence that Long Chen had refined through his own essence blood and the black soil. The death chi of the black soil had been mistaken by the middle-aged man to be the netherworld's chi. However, he was right about it being insect poison. When the pill entered the stomach, it transformed into millions of maggots that devoured Long Aotian's blood and soul. Most terrifying of all, they could not be killed. If they were, Long Aotian would also die. These maggots were connected to his Yuan spirit. So Long Aotian was already clear that these maggots were materialized from his own blood and soul. Ahh Long Aotian screamed in terror. Maggots continued to wriggle out of his body, every single one causing him incomparable pain. This was a torture that could not be described with words. At this moment, 
one of the nine underworld hunters slammed a palm on Long A Ocean's forehead, causing him to collapse. His screams were cut off, but he continued to twitch. Some of the Divine Family's experts then hastily brought him away. After that, a chair appeared in the air. The middle-aged man sat down on it. Someone go test his power. Don't kill him too fast or it would be wasteful. Yes, the previous nine underworld hunter who had attacked Long Chen stepped forward. His chain pierced toward Long Chen like a viper. Chapter 2792 The ultimate form of the six-star battle armor the chain's power had shot up. It was unknown just how many times stronger this attack's power was compared to Yi Ming and the others. This overwhelming power shook the martial heaven continent's experts. The battle against gods had just ended. How had an even more terrifying group suddenly appeared? It seemed that they had come specifically for Long Chen. Long Chen's hand caught the chain. But just at that moment, countless barbs burst out of the chain. His hand was pierced through. Furthermore, his 108,000 star shuddered, seemingly suppressed by some mysterious energy. Long Chen's aura instantly dropped a level. The 9-star soul-chasing chains are specifically made to be used against 9-star heirs. How does it feel to have your power disappear? The 9 underworld hunter sneered, seemingly already having expected this result. A dagger appeared in his other hand, and he stabbed it towards Long Chen's chest. Just as he approached Long Chen and thought that he was powerless, Long Chen's palm slammed into his head, blasting it apart. His headless corpse fell from the sky. A nine underworld hunter was killed by a slap, even right before his death. He didn't understand. Long Chen's body was clearly affected by his move. How did he still have the power to retaliate? Clapping rang out. The middle-aged man said, Not bad, not bad. You were able to resist the power of the nine star soul chasing chain. That means that you're a big fish. Good. Perhaps you can give me some more surprises the stronger Long Chen was, the happier the middle-aged man became. That was because the mission of the nine underworld hunters was to hunt down nine star heirs, and the stronger the prey that they hunted, the greater their rewards. Amongst the nine underworld hunters, this middle-aged man's status was already quite high. He had already killed three nine star heirs before, and had a certain understanding of them. Another four people stepped forward their chains whistling towards Long Chen. However, this time, Long Chen didn't wait for them to attack. Instead, he charged towards the middle-aged man. Youngsters are too impatient. First let me see if you're qualified to even fight me. The middle-aged man shook his head, completely looking down on Long Chen. It seemed that he had no intention of fighting. However, it was simply unknown if he was intentionally antagonizing Long Chen or if he really disdained fighting him. Qualified? I'll show you my qualifications Long Chen slashed his blade. The four nine underworld hunters attacking him were killed instantly. The power of his attack continued towards the middle-aged man. The middle-aged man simply extended a hand and a barrier appeared. Long Chen's attack was easily blocked. Good. Very good. You're definitely a big fish. The biggest fish in history the middle-aged man's smile widened. Suddenly. More and more nine underworld hunters came out of the palace. There were hundreds of them. They immediately surrounded Long Chen. Every single one of them had a chain like vipers preparing to strike. All right, the probing can end here. With your power, it's worth it paying a huge price to bring you to the higher plane. The three nine star heirs that I killed before were all too weak. The price for them was fixed. Today, my luck is truly good. I encountered someone with a variant of the nine stars. Even your six star battle armor is different. I wonder if you're the destined one from the legends. Haha, <laughs> if that's the case, I really struck gold. I can directly trade you for a world bead. But even if you aren't, I'll still be able to get a plentiful reward from Lord Brahma, said the middle aged man. He waved his hand, and scenes appeared in the air. Those were scenes of experts being slain. They were all nine star heirs. Two had reached the five-star battle armor, while one had reached the six-star battle armor. His six-star battle armor was the original six-sided star. The three of them all died to this middle-aged man's hands. They all let out unwilling roars just before their deaths. Long Chen's fury soared. This was an absolute insult to Long Chen. Why? Why is it that this world always has so many people who like courting death? Long Chen's voice was low. 
His body was quivering from rage. Black strands of aura began to float out of his body. Long Chen had never been so angry. His killing intent was exploding. He felt like he was flailing into an abyss. He tried to control his anger, but people kept provoking him, wanting to kill him. He couldn't understand why this world was like that. The hundreds of hunters joined their chains, forming a giant net around him. The power of this formation instantly fractured the Martial Heaven continent. The continent was unable to endure this power. At the center, Long Chen was the target of all their power. The space around him twisted and turned. It felt as if he was being crushed by millions of stars. Most terrifying of all, the six-point star behind him was quivering as if it might shatter as well. Long Chen's bones creaked. That immense pressure contained a special power that seemed to be specialized at countering the nine-star hegemon body art. Submit. This star extermination formation is specialized for nine-star heirs. Even if you had awakened your hegemon chi, with your current realm, you wouldn't be able to endure the power from this many people, said the middle-aged man. There are so many people in this world who don't know what respect is. If I can free this world from its pain. I am willing to become a devil and raise my butcher's blade. I will kill all you inferior life forms. Long Chen's voice came through the cracks of his teeth. It was like a god's vow, a devil's curse. His six-point star began to move. The layered triangles began to revolve, one going clockwise and one going counterclockwise. His divine ring also began to revolve in different directions, with three colors going clockwise and three going counterclockwise. In that instant, the stars within Long Chen's body quivered. All their power ignited and gushed forth. The formation around Long Chen began to creak. The middle-aged man's expression finally changed. He was filled with disbelief. Boom. The giant formation exploded, killing all the nine underworld hunters linked to it. At the same time, Long Chen's power soared like a dam had been broken. His power caused the world to shake. Chapter 2793 Unparalleled power energy burst out of Long Chen's body. A pillar of light soared into the cosmos, shaking the stars. This was the ultimate form of his six-star battle armor. When his two triangles revolved against each other, his stars ignited, unleashing all their power. This was Long Chen's new technique. Before. His battle armor was like a dam that only had a small opening for his power to pass through. Although that allowed him to fight longer, its instantaneous burst potential was limited. His new six-star battle armor was capable of opening the floodgates in an instant to unleash all his power. The power of all his stars shattered the formation, and the resulting backlash killed the nine underworld hunters. In front of this power, they appeared incredibly weak. The middle-aged man could no longer remain indifferent. Long Chen's saber was slashing towards him already. A chain appeared in his hand just like the others, but his chain was silver while the others had been bronze. Boom. The entire continent sank. At the edges of the continent, the land began to collapse. This world was unable to endure a clash on this level. The middle-aged man spat out a mouthful of blood and flew back. His eyes gleamed with excitement. Ha ha ha. Excellent. I've actually found the destined nine-star heir. The middle-aged man laughed as if he had found a priceless treasure. Long Chen ignored him, continuing after him. He put away Evil Moon and slammed a palm at him. Long Chen gave up Evil Moon because in that previous clash, Evil Moon became covered in cracks. Even with the protection of his astral power, Evil Moon could not bear the power of that silver chain. If he continued with Evil Moon, Evil Moon would be destroyed. This explosive state of his could not be maintained for long. He had to kill his opponent before his power ran out. Boom. Long Chen's palm landed on the chain. It once more sprouted countless barbs. But this time, his power was so overwhelming that the barbs were bent back, unable to pierce his body. With one palm knocking aside the chain, a lotus image appeared on his other palm. He unleashed it right on the middle-aged man's body. A lotus flew out, piercing through his body. The middle-aged man was greatly shocked. He had never seen this kind of terrifying magical art. Wasn't it said that the nine star heirs only fought with brute power and didn't use magical arts? Flames burned his chest, making him unable to heal the wound. Just as he was handling the flames, lightning exploded. A lightning spear appeared in Long Chen's hand. Another world appeared behind him. 
It was a world filled with lightning dragons. All the lightning domain's power was now condensed into Long Chen's hand. After the world extermination flame lotus, he unleashed the wild lightning soul battle spear. This attack contained all of Li Ling'er's power, and all the power of the lightning domain. The middle-aged man was appalled. All the nine underworld hunters' techniques were based on countering the nine star air's astral power. That was because they didn't use other techniques. However, Long Chen first injured him with flame energy, and was now unleashing a lightning attack. He was filled with horror. This spear's power made him feel fear. At this critical moment, he took out a tortoise shell armor. It was white as jade and had ancient immortal characters on top of it. This was his protective immortal item. Boom. The lightning spear landed squarely on the tortoise shell, instantly blasting it apart. But the middle-aged man also escaped with his life. Even though the explosion badly wounded him, his own physical body was almost broken. He had never dreamed that a nine-star heir in a lower plane that hadn't even grown up would possess such terrifying power. He was even capable of threatening his life. Seeing Long Chen charging back towards him, he hastily formed hand seals. Flames appeared around him. He was igniting his divine energy. Long Chen's power had already terrified him. He had no choice but to unleash even self-damaging techniques to increase his power. Boom. They once more clashed. The dome of the heavens vanished. Under the pull of their power, the cosmos was fully exposed to everyone. This was a heaven-shaking battle. The people in the barrier could only watch in horror. They all knew that in this battle of the dark era, if Long Chen won, they lived. If he lost, everything would end. The dragon blood warriors clenched their fists, but they were too weak to participate in such a battle. The experts of the spirit world, Starfield Divine World, and the immemorial path also watched Long Chen. Xiao Fei clenched his teeth. Big brother Long Chen, you'll definitely win. The high priest and Maruian exchanged a glance. They sighed inside. Their admiration towards the five sovereigns had reached a peak. This had clearly all been within the sovereign's calculations. This was why the sovereigns, Yun Tian, Ling Yunzi, and the others had all been fighting for time for Long Chen. Only once he became a sovereign could he save the continent. Looking back, it seemed that everything was going according to the sovereign's plan. With every exchange, the continent shuddered intensely. The edges of the world were crumbling. The eastern wasteland, the western desert, the southern sea. The northern source vanished. All that remained was the central plains. Suddenly, the middle-aged man took out another silver chain. He bound Long Chen with it, only for Long Chen to roar and shatter the chain. When the chain shattered, the middle-aged man coughed up a mouthful of blood. His aura plummeted. That second chain was clearly his trump card. It was connected to his soul. He was already at a disadvantage. He wasn't even able to temporarily bind Long Chen. Die. The middle-aged man suddenly ferociously turned and unleashed a ray of divine light towards the core of the martial heaven continent. Despicable. The dragon blood warriors roared furiously. Unable to beat Long Chen. This man was actually attacking the weak members of the continent. If this attack landed, these people would be instantly wiped out. Boom. Long Chen's figure vanished. Reappearing in front of that attack before it landed. He knocked it aside but his expression grew ugly. Ha ha ha, you can all die now. The middle-aged man laughed. He had found Long Chen's weakness. Multiple attacks rained down the martial heaven continents experts and commoners. Chapter 2794 Dragonbone Evil Moon's Pride The middle-aged man, unable to defeat Long Chen, had actually come up with such a contemptuous play to force Long Chen to defend passively. Suddenly, the land shuddered. Long Chen's barrier of astral energy quivered. Everyone inside of his barrier was sent to the core. The martial heaven continent was protecting everyone so that Long Chen didn't need to split his attention. Long Chen, go kill him quickly. I will use my final power to protect everyone else. The martial heaven continent's voice rang out in his mind. But then you, Long Chen's heart turned cold. There are no bots. If you don't kill him, we will all be killed. The martial heaven continent shuddered. A translucent bead appeared. This bead was filled with life energy. It was the core of the star field. The heart of this world. The core rapidly expanded until it covered everyone. This was the final energy of the martial heaven continent. 
the middle-aged man's attacks were repelled by it. It was sacrificing its own life to give Long Chen time to kill him. Long Chen no longer hesitated. He charged towards the middle-aged man. He was about to unleash a punch when Evil Moon suddenly appeared in his hand. Evil Moon, you, Long Chen, if you have any respect for me, you will continue to treat me as your companion. Let us fight alongside each other again, said Evil Moon. Your power has already started to fall. You can't last much longer. You will enter a weak state soon, and then you could be slaughtered by anyone. Long Chen, to have met you is my life's greatest blessing. You showed me how important comrades are. You taught me that there are things in this world that are more important than your own life. You showed me what true happiness is, what it means to protect something. I can no longer hate Yan Shang. My life of devouring and killing was like going through the motions of life as a walking corpse. After meeting you, my view of the world has changed. I saw beautiful things from within endless shadows. Long Chen, I am a warrior of the dark evil dragon race. I have my own pride. I hope you can allow me to fight alongside you again. Evil Moon's two dragon marks lit up. A two-headed black dragon appeared within Long Chen's divine ring. His acupuncture points shuddered as Evil Moon's power passed through his body. Evil Moon. Long Chen tightly clenched his blade Noveloon.com Long Chen. Dying in battle is my glory. Waiting on death is a humiliation Long Chen clenched his teeth. He raised Evil Moon. His eyes were scarlet. A giant saber image tore into the cosmos this was a blade that would sever the nine heavens, break the nine underworlds. It was a blade that made gods and devils quiver. The middle-aged man froze, unable to move. All the divine energy in his body became stagnant. Split the heavens nine. Long Chen howled and slashed his saber down. At the same time, two hot streams of tears flowed down as well. Boom. The middle-aged man took out multiple immortal items unleashing all his power, but was wiped out of existence along with his immortal items. This was a saber that left a giant tear in space that didn't heal. Cracking sounds rang out as the original cracks on Evil Moon grew. Long Chen, thank you. That attack really was marvelous. It's definitely the proudest attack of my lifetime. Goodbye. If there is another life, I'd like to keep fighting alongside you. Evil Moon's voice rang out one final time before it dissipated. Long Chen slowly opened his hand. Even the saber hill transformed to dust and blew away. Long Chen could only watch as it blew away. It was said that the dragon race has spirits. When they died, they would reincarnate into dragons once more. But which race of dragon would be undetermined? Within the primal chaos space, Linger and the heaven flipping seal wept. Evil Moon was gone. The martial heaven continents people let out a burst of cheers. But then the barrier around them faded. Their joy faded along with it. Instead, they were filled with grief. Once the barrier was gone, they sensed that the vitality of the entire world was gone as well. Even the commoners could sense it. This world had died. The martial heaven continent had sacrificed all its power to protect them. It was like a mother protecting her children with her own life. Countless people began weeping. The martial heaven continent had sacrificed itself for them. They thought back to what they had done to the continent. Their limitless greed had constantly damaged the continent, causing it to weaken. They had dug their own graves. But the martial heaven continent never blamed them. It continued to protect them even as they destroyed its body. People sank into grief and sorrow. Although they were alive, they had lost their home. Far too many heroes had died in this battle. Even the Dragon Blood Legion had lost over 9,000 people. Although they had won. The Dragonblood warriors didn't feel any joy. Every single warrior of the Dragonblood Legion was as close as a brother. They would rather die to protect the ones beside them than have others die. The ones who had died were dead. But the ones who were alive had to endure more pain. They wished that this was a nightmare that someone would wake them up from. They wished they could wake up and see their fallen brothers laughing once more. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Yi's Hikyu, and the others silently sobbed. The price of this battle was too great. It was unimaginable. They looked at Long Chen. Long Chen was looking at his hand. That sinister blade of his had forever vanished. The martial heaven continent was broken. They couldn't see the slightest greenery, the slightest life. The sound of the wind carried their sobs. It was as if even heaven and earth were crying. Since it hurt so much, 
there's no need to live. You can all just die. I'm a nice person. So I'll send you all away together. Suddenly, a voice rang out. Everyone raised their hands in shock. That middle-aged man had reappeared. Chapter 2795 8000 Reincarnations The middle-aged man that had clearly been killed by Long Chen had reappeared. Furthermore, he seemed to be in his peak state. Everyone's hearts dropped. It's not a fake death technique. Their auras aren't the same. They aren't the same person, said the high priest. There was actually another member of the nine underworld hunters remaining. At this moment, Long Chen's divine ring had vanished and his astral power had dimmed. He was in a weakened state. This person looked almost identical to the one he had just killed. But their divine energy fluctuations were different. He walked out of the palace, not going directly toward Long Chen, but simply standing at the entrance. It seemed that he was afraid of Long Chen. The one you killed was my big brother. He, this big brother of mine spent a lifetime scheming against me. He always wanted to be first, but nobody is infallible. My luck really was good. I managed to tail him and disguise myself as his subordinate, but I didn't expect to gain such a benefit. Now he's dead, and you're crippled. Those idiots of the divine families have long since fled to a higher world as well. By capturing you, I won't even need the long family's favor. Haha, <laughs> this world really is marvelous this middle-aged man laughed, feeling very pleased. Long Chen sighed inside. How was he so unlucky? There was actually another one hiding here. If he had been with his big brother, Long Chen could have killed them together. However, now he had used up all his power, only for another powerful enemy to appear. The middle-aged man seemed very cautious. He didn't immediately attack. Do you know just how valuable your life is? The destined one amongst the nine star heirs is a legendary existence. Whoever captures you will instantly become the master of the world. This lure is truly great. Long Chen suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, and the stars around him faded. The side effect of his six-star battle armor appeared. Long Chen's body was still unable to endure the power of all his stars igniting. Ha ha ha, now I can finally attack. The middle-aged man seemed to have been waiting for this moment. His spear pierced toward Long Chen. Even now. He was still cautious and didn't use his full power, probing Long Chen's condition first. Unfortunately, Long Chen was already powerless to resist. He felt like his bones had collapsed, and just standing there was already difficult. After that, a howl suddenly rang out and little snow appeared in front of Long Chen. A sphere of wind blades shot out of its mouth, knocking aside the spear. Oh, the middle-aged man stared at little snow in disbelief. The moon howling heavenly wolf race. After recognizing Little Snow's origin, his shock was replaced with a snicker. The moon howling heavenly wolf race isn't an existence that the Nine Underworld side can provoke. However, the middle aged man's chain twisted, shooting toward Little Snow. Seeing this scene, Little Snow howled furiously and slammed its claw down. Suddenly, the chain curled around Little Snow's claw, binding it. It then wrapped around Little Snow's body like a python. Little Snow, Long Chen shouted, but just stepping forward almost caused him to collapse. However, it's not as if we can't just hide from the moon howling heavenly wolf race. The middle-aged man laughed and pulled on his chain, flinging the bound Little Snow into the immortal palace. At this moment, everyone saw that a channel had appeared at the gates of the immortal ceiling palace. The experts of the divine families had long since vanished within it. As for Little Snow, it was wrapped by spatial energy, and despite its struggles, it also faded. The middle-aged man's spear then whipped back toward Long Chen. Countless sharp barbs appeared on its head. Long Chen clenched his teeth, but he couldn't even raise his arms. His body wasn't listening to him. As a result, a certain someone's blood splashed, dyeing a white dress red. Meng Chi. Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others cried out in shock, unable to believe their eyes. The pill fairy had appeared, using her body to block this attack. Her white dress instantly turned red, and time seemed to stand still. No, Long Chen let out a beast-like roar. He already knew what the pill fairy had done for him in this battle. Hence, he no longer had any hatred toward the pill fairy and even felt guilt for misunderstanding her. She had never wanted to harm him. That was the attack from a god. As a result, 
the pill fairy's divine manifestation slowly faded, and the fire of her soul slowly extinguished. The pill fairy rubbed Long Chen's face with a bitter smile. Long Chen, the reason I became a divine daughter, was to protect you. The goal of Pill Valley was to keep an eye on this world and see if there are any nine star heirs. The only way I could protect your secret was to become a divine daughter. But I didn't expect your status to still be exposed Kingsuan. I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. Long Chen wept. Feeling a mix of remorse and hatred. Long Chen. I understand. I understand. The pill fairy suddenly began to pant. And her entire air changed. A new light flashed within her beautiful eyes. It was as if she was lost in endless memories. So that's what it was that's what it was the pill fairy suddenly wept. No wonder I had a strange feeling when I first saw you. I've already fallen in love with you for a thousand reincarnations. Every time, I will die like this in front of you. These thousand reincarnations are all to wake you up from the red dust. But this time, I know that I won't have to reincarnate again. I can feel that you've already awakened. With every reincarnation, I am unable to awaken my memories while alive. It is only before my death that I can remember. Long Chen, I've loved you for a thousand lifetimes. You must find me. In life and death, you must find me. The pill fairy slowly faded and a blooming flower appeared suddenly. That was the jewel blood jade orchid that Long Chen had once given her. It possessed its own sad and beautiful story. The pill fairy had always carried it with her. The jewel blood jade orchid then absorbed the pill fairy's remaining blood chi in the air, giving off a faint burst of light before it vanished along with its owner. Nu, Long Chen suddenly roared. Black lines rapidly spread through his eyes until they were pitch black, and his aura instantly transformed, becoming dark, bloodthirsty, and wild. It was as if a devil had awakened inside of him. Chapter 2796 Hidden Power Within a Mix of Regret and Hatred Dark energy exploded from deep within Long Chen's soul, completely out of his control. Long Chen's eyes instantly became two black holes, which looked as if they could devour all things between heaven and earth. With a single roar, the void exploded and stars fell. A sinister aura enveloped the entire world. Seeing this scene, the middle-aged man was alarmed. Was this really a nine-star heir? How did Long Chen suddenly become such a terrifying monster? Hence, he immediately fled back into the immortal palace. However, just as he was about to enter the spatial gate, Long Chen's hand reached out. With a startled cry, his body was pulled back out by Long Chen. The middle-aged man attacked in horror, but when his chain struck Long Chen, black light burst out of Long Chen's body instantly blasting the chain apart. Long Chen then grabbed his throat with one hand and held his arm with the other hand. Just why? The middle-aged man screamed as his arm was forcibly torn off by Long Chen. His divine blood sprayed through the air. Why? Why must you force me? Long Chen howled, seemingly insane. He tore off the middle-aged man's other arm and then his legs. All of his struggles were meaningless. Any immortal items he took out shattered on contact with Long Chen. The current Long Chen was an unmatched devil god, and this middle-aged man was unable to pose any threat to him at all. With his limbs gone, Long Chen struck his body, blowing it to pieces. All that remained was his head. After that, Long Chen stabbed a finger through his head. Black Chi then swirled out of Long Chen's forehead. He seemed to have already lost his mind. Reverse to the origin. Heaven Defiance Immortal Slayer, this was a technique that Long Chen had never used before, but in this state, he used it naturally. The middle-aged man's head then exploded, and his blood transformed into a chain that shot into the Immortal Ceiling Palace. After that, Long Chen looked at the channel and saw countless figures at the end. He saw Feng Fei, as well as the half-dead Long Aotian being carried away. However, Long Chen ignored them. His spiritual strength burst forth, making the immortal ceiling palace creak and crack, and fragments of spastime flew past him. He saw countless nine underworld hunters and also countless nine star heirs being killed. Within those scenes, he also saw a certain figure, Brahma. Long Chen let out a heaven-shaking roar when he saw that figure. When he looked at Lord Brahma, he saw the person he wanted to kill the most in his life. His image was not quite the same as Pill Valley's divine statue, but his aura was the same. He was definitely Lord Brahma. After that, 
the figure moved and his gaze fell on Long Chen. In that instant, the palace exploded and divine energy unfurled. No, the martial heaven continent's experts despaired as this sudden attack was too much. The entire world was just one blow away from breaking. It now collapsed, disintegrating, turning into nothing along with all of them. Long Chen, Meng Chi and the others cried out. When that wave of divine light spread, Long Chen used his own body to receive it for everyone. However, that divine light possessed an unimaginable destructive power. When it fell, Long Chen vanished along with the martial heaven continent. Darkness, endless darkness. Long Chen felt like he was sinking and was filled with resentment. With a single attack, Lord Brahma had destroyed him along with the martial heaven continent Navaloon.com I'm sorry, sovereigns. I'm sorry, martial heaven continent. I'm sorry, everyone. I've disappointed you. A.H.H. Long Chen suddenly let out a scream. Dead. Everyone was dead. He was a failure who had let down everyone's trust. What the hell is wrong with you? You scared me. Long Chen's shout drew countless looks of scorn and angry chiding. Hearing this, Long Chen realized that he was at the bottom of a mountain, sitting on the side of a road. There was a long line of people stretching far into the distance. Ah. Uh. Why are you arguing with someone who failed? Don't you see how pitiable he is? Said one person. That person helped Long Chen up and comforted. Little brother, a failure is a failure. It's not the end of the world. You can try again 30 years later. Just look at me. I've taken the trial four times. I'm already 150 years old. But I haven't given up. Just take some tips from me and get over this failure. Go home and properly cultivate some more and you'll have another chance. At this moment, Long Chen looked around and saw that everyone around him was wearing extravagant clothes. Those materials did not exist on the martial heaven continent. These people's auras were extremely powerful. They had all reached the level of the 13th heaven stage of heaven merging, but they all looked very young. Furthermore, their auras contained immortal chi. Ah, brother, where is this place? Asked Long Chen. That person stared at him in confusion. Oh, you've been beaten stupid. Brother, you should go back to wherever you came from. That person patted Long Chen's shoulder and left to his own place in line, seemingly not knowing how to comfort Long Chen. The surrounding people then looked at Long Chen, some with sympathy and some with scorn. Also, some were pointing and laughing at him. Long Chen's head was dizzy, so he walked in the opposite direction of the line. He walked over to an empty mountain to calm himself down. Nine star airs truly are admirable suddenly. A voice rang out in his mind and made him jump. You, you're back. Long Chen was happily surprised. This voice was one that he would remember forever. It was that expert from the dragon race that had helped him out once before. This dragon expert had even passed the dragon blood body tempering art to him. How could I not return? If you died, how would I collect on your debt? Are all the nine star heirs stupid? You don't think about the consequences of your actions? For a little mortal like you to dare to peer at Lord Brahma, you'd have been blown to smithereens if it wasn't for me, said that dragon expert. Senior, are you saying that they're also not dead? Long Chen's voice shuddered. Of course they're not dead. The instant Lord Brahma's attack fell, I sent you all away. Those who reached the tenth heaven stage and were qualified to ascend were sent to the immortal world while those below that level were sent to an isolated star. The conditions there are far better than on the martial heaven continent then what about my brothers and sisters in the dragon blood legion? Asked Long Chen. If everyone was still alive, he wanted to see them. Them? It will probably be a long time before you ever see them again. Chapter 2797 Mo Nian formally accepts a master alive. Everyone is still alive. Mo Nian wept. When the immortal ceiling palace exploded, he held on to Lu Zongying tightly, thinking that they would both die. Unexpectedly, they were saved and he had even ascended to the immortal world. It was his first time feeling how great it was to be alive. After being saved by a mysterious expert of the dragon race, he learned that the others were also alive. At that moment, he was so overwhelmed that he wept. However, just as he was crying, he heard some strange sounds ring out beside him. Only then did he notice that he was in a cemetery. Not far from him was an extremely ancient gravestone. 
and there was a dust-covered elder getting to work on it with a chisel and hammer in hand. The sky was dark. Realizing that he was in a cemetery, Mo Nian suddenly wondered if he really hadn't been saved. Was he actually dead? Old man, it's dark out here. You should go home and sleep. What are you doing here? Mo Nian summoned his courage and spoke. The elder didn't even raise his head. He continued striking the gravestone. Child, you should sleep first. Some people wrote my name wrong here, so I'm fixing it. Mo Nian's head buzzed and his feelings of gratitude vanished. Now he really was unsure if he was dead or alive. He, little fellow, you have the air of tombstones on you. You wouldn't be so cowardly, right? The elder put down his tools and looked back at Mo Nian. After that, Mo Nian was startled. The elder's back had looked so sloppy, but from the front, he was actually quite handsome. He looked graceful and noble. Junior was unable to see Senior clearly. Please forgive this Junior Mo Nian was quite smart. Despite not knowing who this elder was, his years of experience and intuition were telling him that this person was definitely not ordinary. The elder waved his hand. Don't talk such nonsense. I was messing around cough. I was wandering the land when I suddenly felt moved into stopping here for a moment. I'm quite busy you know. So I'll only give you an incense stick's worth of time. Show me your worth. If you satisfy me, I can accept you under my wing. Mo Nian was startled and didn't quite understand. Hence, the elder impatiently said, Let us get right to the point. What do you think about this cemetery? Thinking of what the elder had been doing, Mo Nian suddenly realized something. He then examined his surroundings and cautiously said, This cemetery faces the northeast, with its back pointing toward the southwest. Moreover, both sides are narrow with a wide center. This is typical of a northeast-southwest cemetery. The wind blows from the northeast, while water flows from the southwest. The large tomb at the center must be the note of this feng shu. As a result, this cemetery is most likely fooling people's eyes and ears. It is most likely hiding some hidden mechanisms. The main tomb is likely 900 meters to the north. Mo Nian immediately began to talk non-stop. Perhaps Mo Nian might not be skilled in other things, but when it came to Gravarabing, he was truly the number one person in the Martial Heaven continent. He had even gone to the corrupt God Cemetery multiple times and was skilled in all matters of tombs, including the important Feng Shu matters. Seeing Mo Nian's eyes shining, the elder gradually smiled. Having started, Mo Nian couldn't stop. The northeast and southwest are covered in soil. The descendants of this tomb's master did not burn enough incense and wanted to use this method to change it. Furthermore, the majority of the gravestone is facing the southwest. This indicates that the master of this tomb did not have enough women in their family. Oh? They didn't want men. But more women Mo Nian found himself bewildered. Feeling like he had made some misjudgment somewhere. Ha ha ha. Little fellow. You have some skill. This is a branch of a clan whose leaders are women. You were mostly correct in everything that you said, but there are some things very different in the immortal world compared to the mortal world. Since you are able to remember this much, it proves that your talent isn't ordinary. For you to have this great profession in your heart is excellent the elder laughed, very satisfied with Mo Nian's display. In fact, it seemed to have far exceeded his expectations. He stood up. Little fellow, you're excellent. Your luck is also good to meet me. It can be said that our line of work is known to all within heaven and earth. Since we don't have much time, you can just accept me as master. Starting today, you are my apprentice. I will pass down all my life's learning to you. Disciple Mo Nian greets master. Mo Nian was delighted and hastily went through a formal nine kowtows. He hadn't expected his luck to be so good. As soon as he entered the immortal world, such a master already accepted him as an apprentice. He would definitely soar. Ha ha ha. Good. Little apprentice. Remember. Your master's mighty name. K. Dawat Mo Nian couldn't believe his ears. Would someone really give themselves the name of K. D. 1. It's K as in the K in palace. But they all call me Daoist Immoral when it's actually Daoist K. Da. Sometimes. I'm influenced by them so the accent sounds a bit off. Said the elder. He laughed. And the air of a graceful immortal completely vanished replaced with certain wickedness that made Mo Nian feel like he had fallen for a con. 
Good apprentice. Come. This is your master's first gift for you. The elder handed a black hat to Mo Nian. Mo Nian was dumbfounded. This black hat didn't have a single divine rune on it, and it didn't look like anything special. Master. I. Mo Nian wanted to gracefully decline. Daoist Keda seemed to read Mo Nian's thoughts and took out another gift. It was a pair of worn down leather boots. Seeing this, Mo Nian almost fainted. This master of his was too stingy, wasn't he? Mo Nian truly felt like he had been tricked. He cautiously probed. Master, apprentice's weapons were destroyed in the mortal world. Do you think, child, do you think that I'm stingy? You think that I can't even provide you with a good weapon? Daoist Keda smiled. After saying that, he took out a shovel. Now, Mo Nian really felt like he would faint. Senior, I'm a bow user, said Mo Nian angrily. He no longer even called him master. He truly felt conned. I know, you'll definitely work hard. Two, don't worry, with your talent and dedication, plus my guidance, you will definitely become a figure that shakes the nine heavens and ten lands. It was unknown if Daoist Keja didn't hear him properly or simply acted like he didn't. Child, do you know the true meaning in me giving you this shovel? Asked Daoist Keja solemnly. What Mo Nian was startled. It's the start. The start of work. The treasures won't dig themselves out. Said Daoist Keja. Damn, you really are immortal. You give me these broken things. And you want me to follow you. Mo Nian finally erupted in fury. He. Why else would others call me Daoist Immoral laughed Daoist Keda, seemingly quite pleased with himself. Furthermore, you are about to understand why I gave you those things and how to use them. Just at that moment, the void shuddered and countless terrifying auras erupted. Immortal light blazed, forming a giant formation that trapped everything here. A furious voice rang out. Gravitating rat, come out and face your death. 1. Keda means lacking morals. It sounds the same as his real name. The K in his real name means palace when written as. 2. This is a pun on bow user. It sounds the same as a hard worker. So Mo Nian says that he's a bow user hard worker. And Daoist Immoral says that he knows that he's a hard worker. Chapter 2798 Strange Master. Odd Disciple This cemetery was instantly surrounded by countless experts. And Mo Nian's expression changed. These people's auras were many times stronger than the nine underworld hunters he had encountered. After that, rays of divine light shot toward the two of them. Mo Nian cried out in terror. This was too fast for him to even react. However, light suddenly shone from the hat on his head, blocking those attacks. What are you standing there like an idiot for? Run. Daoist Keda pushed Mo Nian. When Mo Nian took a step, his new worn down leather boots lit up. After that, his body actually floated and he shot away. In just a few steps, he arrived in front of the barrier. It had to be known that upon entering the immortal world, the spiritual Yuan in his body was severely suppressed. He was unable to fly like on the martial heaven continent, let alone tear through space with a wave of his hand. In order to fly here, Mo Nian would need to refine some immortal spiritual chi. However, having just ascended, he had no such thing in his body and couldn't even use his magical arts. He was just like a non-cultivator. However, his boots and hat were miraculous, and he was able to activate them with just a thought. Without needing another reminder, he smashed his shovel at the barrier. Boom. A giant hole appeared in the barrier, and the two of them fled out of it. The others chased them while cursing. In general, their cursing was about how immoral they were and to stop and fight. Fortunately. Mo Nian's boots brought him flying away. His legs moved so fast they were like wheels. After an hour of running, Mo Nian had long since lost sight of those people. He finally stopped, panting like a dog. The only difference was that he didn't stick his tongue out. Furthermore, after running for so long, he felt his soul ache. He was also dizzy and nauseated. He, this is the higher plane. The immortal spiritual chi here has been absorbed into your body due to your efforts. You'll get used to it. Once you have become accustomed to the immortal world, your master will pass some secret arts to you. Our line will grow to new heights. Daoist Keda stopped as well. He had been right behind Mo Nian the entire time. I was actually worried for you. 
but your fleeing skills are amazingly refined. I can tell that you've been chased by countless people in the lower plane. Master, I was foolish before, said Mo Nyana, bit uneasy. He hadn't expected that what he had thought to be trash would actually be treasures. He had gone a bit too far just now. He, I'm your master. A master is like a father. Why would I quibble with you over these things? Daoist Kada smiled. Master, you're so powerful. So why did we run? Why not beat them? Asked Mo Nyan. Although Daoist Kada had yet to show his true power, considering that he was like a phantom following Mo Nyan, leaving those other experts in the dust, it was clear he was stronger than them. Does it have anything to do with being stronger? I dug out their tombs. It's rude. So I will kindly make up for it by not returning punches or curses. Remember little one, this is the rule of our line. Don't break it, said Daoist Kada solemnly. Master, what kind of line are we in? Is it some sect? Asked Mo Nyan. Listen well, we are the line of the immeasurable palace. I am the 97th generation palace master, and you are my only disciple. In the future, you will be the 98th generation palace master, said Daoist Kada. Mo Nyan was delighted. He hadn't expected to muddle his way into such a grand power as soon as he entered the immortal world. His future prospects were truly immeasurable. Haha, <laughs> excellent. I'll make that little fellow, Long Chen, die of envy the next time we meet. Mo Nian laughed delightedly. It seemed that he could already see the day of millions of immortals worshipping him. Who is Long Chen? Asked Daoist K randomly. He's the only one to put me at a disadvantage when it comes to showing off. But that fellow's luck is terrible. He definitely won't have this kind of good luck like me, said Mo Nyan, very pleased. Master, where is our immeasurable palace located? Can you bring your disciple to see it? There's no need for such a thing. Why not? It was torn down. Daoist Kada shrugged helplessly. What Mo Nyan was dumbfounded. Then can't you build a new one? Where are the immeasurable palace's disciples? Aren't they right here? Daoist Kada stared at him. Are you kidding? Don't tell me that in the entire immeasurable palace, I'm the only disciple. Daoist Kada nodded. That's correct. Starting at the 37th generation, we started to pass down our inheritance from one master to one apprentice all the way to now. Mo Nian almost coughed up a mouthful of blood. It was completely different from his imagination. Why does it feel like your immeasurable palace has already declined? Are you conning me? He, that's the wrong way to put it. Child, 8,000 years ago, I swept through the hundred domains and thousand prefectures in search of an outstanding successor, but I didn't find a single person I could pass my inheritance down to. If I didn't have a bit of power, do you think I'd be so picky? Let me put it to you this way. If you can learn everything I have to teach, there will be no one in this world who dares to offend you. Of course. If you are skilled enough, you can revitalize our immeasurable palace. Then you would be the most amazing figure other than our immeasurable immortal venerate, said Daoist Kada. Mo Nian felt stunned, not knowing how much of what this old fellow was saying was true. Furthermore, the latter's wretched smile did not feel reliable. As the two of them spoke, an immortal sword slashed through the void, making Mo Nian feel like his soul would explode. He didn't know what kind of existence had just appeared. Suddenly, Daoist Kadi's wretched smile vanished. He then unleashed a palm, and a rainbow bridge appeared in the air. The rainbow bridge was destroyed but blocked the attack. Meanwhile, Daoist Kadi grabbed Mo Nian and fled. Who is that? How are they so terrifying? Asked Mo Nian. It's an immortal king. In terms of power, he's sloppy, but he's completely unreasonable and immoral. For this kind of person, I decided to clean out his ancestral tomb, and he's been chasing me for three days. According to the rules, I can't fight back, so I can only flee. Don't worry, you'll get used to it in a few years. Your master will lead you through various ancient tombs to excavate the remnants of history and find the mystery of the immeasurable palace's fall, said Daoist Kada. Who would have thought that just a few years from now? This immoral Daoist would raise a figure who would shake the entire immortal world. Chapter 2799 Destitute Guo Ran This was a tranquil forest of towering trees. Every tree here was huge. 
even bigger than the star field divine world's mother tree. Such giant trees had actually formed a forest stretching far beyond the horizon. A blood-colored moon hung in the sky. This blood moon was very large. Furthermore, it was a constant in the sky. It didn't move. Its light nourished this forest. Deep within the forest was a long-haired elder. He sat on top of a mountain, basking in the light of the blood moon. He seemed to be breathing in its radiance. Suddenly, he opened his eyes. A middle-aged man appeared before him. The elder asked, You still haven't found the wolf emperor's sprout. The man shook his head, causing the elder to sigh. That one slip caused us to lose the wolf emperor's egg. There are too many powers that worship us. It's impossible to tell where it went. It's been a million years with still no news. Ancestor, Lord Brahma's side has sent word. Tell him to scram as far as he can and stop disturbing our moon howling heavenly wolf race. We will not be threatened. If he doesn't like it, we can fight to the death. There are no cowards here, snorted the elder. This elder was the ancestral patriarch of the moon howling heavenly wolf race. This was their ancestral land, the blood moon divine domain. Another person came over, respectfully reporting. Someone from the Nine Underworld line came, asking to see you. The man frowned. The Nine Underworld line has nothing to do with us. Those despicable assassins can scram. Wait. The elder suddenly asked. Why did they come? They said that they noticed a member of our race in a lower plane. It had the mark of a blood moon on its forehead. What both the middle-aged man and the elder shook. Filled with disbelief. Let go of me. I have to find my brother Long. Wild roared angrily transforming into a giant form, but he was still pushed down by another giant hand. His struggling tore a massive hole in the ground, but he was unable to escape that hand. He was surrounded by a group of giants who were even bigger than him. All of them possessed powerful physical bodies, to the point that their blood chi looked like it was about to explode. Your brother Long isn't in the same domain. You won't be able to find him, said the giant pressing him down with a smile. The surrounding people seemed to be watching happily. They were smiling, and yet when one of them spoke, his voice was like thunder booming in the air. I still have to find him. He treats me well. You don't treat me well, roared Wild. However, he was like a baby fighting adults. The power that he was so proud of was useless. After two hours, he was finally out of energy and stopped struggling. His stomach grumbled thunderously. A giant dish thumped onto the ground in front of him. There was a giant earthen dragon on the dish. Without a word, Wilde grabbed it and stuffed his face. As soon as he recovered, he tried running away, only to be grabbed by someone. The same scene repeated itself. The surrounding people seemed to have already gotten used to this. They continued watching. They were like giant mountains soaring into the grounds. But it wasn't mountains. It was giants. Their shoulders were amongst the clouds. These giants smiled with gratification as they watched Wild. One of the elders said, The barbarian king's reincarnation has actually been sent here. It seems that there's hope for our barbarian race. Just as our karmic luck was about to run out, the barbarian king's reincarnation appears. Our line can once more soar. Little girl, you have Imputa's aura on you. It's a bit dislikable. But your talent, aptitude, and that look in your eyes has moved me. I can see your desire to get stronger. I can break the rules and accept you as a disciple. But you must promise to endure the pain of cleansing your soul in order to remove Imputa's mark on you. Are you willing? Asked a woman in tight clothing and short hair. As long as I can get stronger, I am willing to do anything. The speaker was Dong Mingyu. Before her was an existence who struck terror in the hearts of countless people. Good. Starting today. You as my, Yi Washing's, disciple. But remember, you are only a disciple. If you want to become my personal apprentice, you can deliver Imputa's head to me first. That can be considered a formal gift between master and apprentice, said the short-haired woman. That's just what I wanted Dong Mingyu nodded. She hated this despicable killing god. The woman smiled slightly. Dong Mingyu seemed to please her, holding her hand. She vanished into the void with her. Yu Zifeng stared at the lofty mountain in front of him. An overwhelming sword will fill this entire world. At the peak of the mountain was a sword. The sword was stabbed not only through the mountain, but through the sky as well. The stars revolved around it.
giving off endless majesty. Boss, take care of yourself. When we meet again, I'll protect you. Yu Zifan took a deep breath and began climbing the mountain. From the sky, he was like an ant climbing a giant mountain. However, his footsteps persevered staunchly. Big brother, I've admired the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College for a long time. I've come a long way to study here. I beg of you to let me join in the trial. Once I pass, we will be apprentice brothers. With my talent, I will definitely soar and repay you when the time comes. Guo Ran had spent seven days here to learn how people spoke here. This was the Divine Armor College's registration stand. There would only be one chance to enroll every three years. It was said that it was the strongest college for forging armor within this star field. There was an endless stream of people applying. However, just applying cost 300 immortal crystals. To Guo Ran who had only just ascended, that was an impossible price. He didn't have any of this world's currency. He had tried to go to a pawn shop and sell what he had. But when he took out the divine materials of the martial heaven continent, he was directly kicked out. If it wasn't due to how weak he was, people would probably have beaten him, thinking he was trying to waste their time. The lower plane's divine materials were trash here. People wouldn't take it even if you gave it to them. Helplessly, Guo Ran could only resort to begging, hoping to muddle his way in. As long as he could take the test, he was confident that he could pass. After all, in terms of battle armors, he had devoted himself for a long time. Joining this college was paramount to his future. You again? Scram. This isn't a charity. Can someone as poor as you even afford to build a single set of battle armor? Don't joke. Scoffed a disciple. Chapter 2800 Help? Studying how to build the best battle armor was a money-burning process. Without a profound foundation of wealth, there was no way to carry it out. Guo Ran's poor appearance didn't appear to be one with money causing these disciples to look down on him. Don't look down on others. If you want, we can bet who can create the best armor on paper right now. If I win, you let me attend the trial. If I lose, I'll immediately leave and never bother you again. Raged Guo Ran. It was tough to be poor. On the Martial Heaven continent, Guo Ran had as much money as he wanted, and Long Chen was always there to support him. Now he was powerless though, so he had to enter this college. Quite a few people side-eyed Guo Ran with some surprise. Did he really have some skill to dare to challenge the college's disciples? Or was he simply crazy? Scram. Who has time to bet with you? Do you not see how many people are lined up? Barked that disciple. He sent a palm at Guo Ran. Seeing this, Guo Ran instinctively raised his arm to block. But he didn't expect that just as that person's palm was about to meet his arm, thin lines would appear over his hand transforming into a refined glove. Guo Ran then felt a powerful force send him flying, and he tumbled through the air before smashing into a wall. Blood dripped out of his mouth. Ha ha ha. Quite a few disdainful laughs rang out from the crowd. Guo Ran furiously cursed. Just wait. I'll remember this. Once I find my boss Long Chen, I'll come back. When Guo Ran thought about vengeance for these wrongs, the first thing he thought of was Long Chen and his boss's name randomly popped out of his mouth. Long Chen? Who's that? Is he very famous? Have him come find me, said that disciple disdainfully. You know Long Chen? The martial heaven continents Long Chen. Suddenly, a sharp voice rang out. Only now did people notice that a war chariot had appeared in the sky. The war chariot was covered in magical symbols. When those disciples saw it, they hastily bowed. Greetings, Earth Master. The symbols on the chariot were a token of the owner's status. In the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, only those who had reached the level of an Earth Master were qualified to sit in such a chariot. Furthermore, the current speaker was one of the female Earth Masters. Who are you? Guo Ran wiped the blood off of his mouth. He cautiously looked at the war chariot. Rude brat, properly respond to the Earth Master's question, barked the disciple. After that, the front doors of the chariot opened to the side, and a woman walked out, looking to be in her twenties. Her legs were longer than a normal person's legs, and her black hair fell to her waist. Her bright eyes stood out on her face. She then smiled at Guo Ran. Is Long Chen well? Has he ascended yet? She asked. You know my boss. 
asked Guo Ran in disbelief. First answer me. Did you come from the martial heaven continent when Guo Ran nodded? She asked again. Does he have a pair of sword-like eyebrows? When he's not smiling, he looks very fierce. But when he does smile, it looks a bit evil. He also has a pitch black dragon bone saber that looks extremely ferocious you. You really do know my boss. Guo Ran was startled. How could someone in the higher plane know Long Chen? Most importantly, since Long Chen was a nine-star heir, Guo Ran didn't dare to recklessly expose Long Chen's identity. However, this woman knew so many details about his appearance and even Evil Moon, so she had definitely met him before. He, good. So has he come to the higher plane? Where is he? She asked. He should also be in the higher plane, but we were separated. I don't know where he is, said Guo Ran, feeling aggrieved. Without Long Chen, it felt like he had lost the lantern lighting his way. That was because ever since he had encountered Long Chen, it could be said that Long Chen had been looking after the Dragon Blood Legion. Hence, for Guo Ran to go from a second rate hoodlum to his current level was all thanks to Long Chen holding his hand. He sighed inside. He was worried for Long Chen, but he also realized that he had been too dependent on Long Chen for too long. In the face of this foreign world, he felt powerless and afraid. He, Guo Ran, had never been a strong person himself. How regretful. This world is so big. The nine heavens. Ten lands. Hundred domains. Thousand prefectures. Finding one person within this world is too difficult. The woman was disappointed. But she quickly smiled. That's alright. Such a powerful fellow doesn't need to be worried about. As long as we keep him in our hearts. We'll definitely receive news from him sooner or later. So. Just now. I heard that they were fighting with you, Earth Master. It wasn't like this. He was messing around rudely. He didn't pay the fee for the test. So we were just following the rules. Cried out that disciple hastily. He is right. The main thing is, I'm broke, said Guo Ran, ashamed. It's not embarrassing to be poor. I was also poor back then. That's the only reason I took the risk of making money in the netherworld. And it was due to this that I met your boss. I could reach this level thanks to your boss's help. All right, I'll pay for your fee. Even if you fail, it's fine. I can arrange other things for you. I'll look after you. Thank you, big sister. Guo Ran was ecstatic to the point that he almost wept. In the end, he still was benefiting from his boss. Just like that, Guo Ran swaggered into the testing region with that woman. She directly sent him through. Ah, that's right. I still don't know your name. Big sister, said Guo Ran. I am Zi Kiankian. In a dark world filled with the air of rot, menacing trees gave off a pressuring and frightful feeling. One could see giant vines curling around them like dragons. Big sister, don't worry. This is my race's land. I've awakened my inheritance. So no one here will dare to touch you. Just treat it as your own home. Lu Ruian held Chu Yao's hand as they stood within this terrifying forest. Chu Yao was a bit pale from this place's aura. Suddenly, the giant trees parted, forming a path for them. Just like that, Lu Ruian walked through with Chu Yao. This place was one of the immortal world's lands of great danger, the corpse devil demon forest. 